Yeah, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons, the D&D, the weekly D&D show here on twitch.tv forward slash showscast and twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers d and I am the Dungeon Master Mark Shock Humes! Ah, Sorry, I'm trying to get my energy level up. Jesus! Joining us this week, <laughs> Rhiannon, hello. Trot, and Kim, who's very nervous. <laughs> And Tom and yeah, hello. <laughs> Tom isn't. Who is not nervous? Yeah. No. <laughs> hello. Uh, oh shit. Oh, these are. Uh, how are these okay. are really waiting. Sorry, I like swiped uh, on yeah, my yeah, Mac yeah, yeah. and my notes went away, and I was like, <laughs> oh, <no."> <laughs> <laughs> well, delete matter, everything. <laughs> Fucking like these gesture shit. I don't know. Gesture uh, shit. Gesture shit. Welcome, friends, <sighs> to another episode of High Rollers. We're here. Uh, this is. He found it. The last canonical hey. High Rollers. Ooh before January, because ah, next month is the Jingle Jam. Yes. It's the Yogscast Jingle Jam. It's yes. a huge month of charity live streaming. We will be appearing on the 8th of December for our special High Rollers one shot. Uh -huh. We do have a vague theme for that. I'm gonna get to the sponsors in a minute, but I wanna get this out of the way first. Uh, it's gonna involve a lot of death. A lot of death. <laughs> a lot of it's, characters. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be very hardcore. Your donations are gonna be very important. So make sure you tune in on the 8th of December during the Jingle Jam for the High Rolls Christmas special. Yeah, there might be about 30 characters. <laughs> characters old and new. I'm yeah. Not right, with it's that though, we don't want to give too much away. Elves. We don't want to give that too much Just... away. It's Chris Trot. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we sponsored by? Look, look in the middle there. We have a one-off sponsor right there. One-off. Yeah. Right there. It says Dungeon Craft. Dungeon Craft. Bigger over there. Yeah. What is Dungeon Craft though? I hear you crying. What is Dungeon Craft? What stop is crying. Dungeon Craft? <laughs> stop, stop crying. <laughs> Everyone stop crying. Uh. It's a really, it's over here. I've got it here. We might this. even be, like Sid might be able to get battle map up if we move like. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we might need uh. battle map, Sid, oh. but that's all right. That's so all stuff. Dungeon Craft's a really simple, cheap and effective <laughs> all, way all of, <laughs> of creating terrain for your tabletop game. It's high quality laminated stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, with, so none of us are touching that again. Yeah. Built with a thousand plus terrain pieces like forest houses, fires, crates, horses, goblins, and much more. They're also reversible. <gasps> They're reversible. Oh, is that free? Dry roof, so on one side could be dry a roof of a tavern, like this, which I've cut out. Could be the roof, and then, oh, the part you go inside and you have the whole inside. You messy just bed. Down like this. Not messy You've bed. You've got like a wooden bridge <laughs> on the other side of stone. It's, it's basically a really cheap, effective way of getting map terrain very Build quickly. One. With dry erase ability. Build a, it's build got dry erase the heist. ability. So one of the feedback from the community was, we want to be able to write and draw on these things with wet erasers. You can now Excellent. and wipe it off. So that's great. So they want us to let you know Which a few part? things. So there's a holiday deal right now. Holiday okay. deal! November 25th, that's tomorrow, to January 1st while supplies last. Every person that buys a copy of Dungeon Craft, that's this boy, volume one, um, through our link, which has been spammed in Twitch chat right now, right? Right. We'll also get a free tape mimic pin in their package. Wow. Which looks Ooh. like this. Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty cool. Really cool. Also, oh, wow. that link, if you're watching on YouTube, will be in the description as well. Yeah. Yes. What well, if you're in a podcast, Tom? Don't know. You'll have to check our YouTube video. <laughs> you're all going on Twitter. Yeah. I'll go on link. Twitter. There's limited quantity on that because they're bringing a brand new product to the market that they've got limited stock on for the holiday season. So when they sell out, they sell out. Mm. Uh, what is this new thing? I hear you cry. What well, is this new thing? It's a whole new other box. Called an Different expansion, stuff. yeah, of new stuff. Cool. So many Hell and high there. water. Do you enjoy so the uh, sea-based uh, oh. ocean adventures oh. on a ship, oh. or did you enjoy a descent Avernus? into a Vernus in the hell of high hits? water? That's very yeah. cool. There's a whole new. Oh, a ship! Whole oh. new set. We didn't need to buy an airship. We, just <laughs> we did. Yeah. No, we know we we need. There's to buy so much stuff in here, <laughs> yeah. and it's really cheap and effective. Yeah. And you just so that, cut them out, throw them down. That was really? like my favorite thing. Is like it is super cheap, and there's a lot of options. Also, can I just say, storage-wise, that will save you a lot more space yes. than yeah. things yeah. Like, like. Oh, there's a bear like, rug. Storage. The most important thing. It's a bear is it rug. smells. Oh. <laughs> oh, get him away oh, from me. I have this weird obsession with okay. new things. All right, smelling. nice. Good oh, smell, not guaranteed. Well, that is Dungeon Craft. There is Hello High Water, the, the second volume coming out. Oh, it's on the screen. We can so, see the so cover for it. Oh, it, it looks, looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you can get like hellish oh, wow. trains or like piratey adventures. So Here's uh, another thing. 
just this is, I, I Trot reads all the actual information. What I like is it's very bold lines, like the actual art style is quite really bold. Clear. That chunk yeah. is also all which gridded. Which is, is easy to see. A lot of the stuff that I've seen made by other people, it's like really thin, like it's very yeah. beautiful art, but you can't really see what it is at a glance. This very is actually clear grid nice lines. Chunk, yeah, chunk, they've also made chunk. it as cheap. It's one of the reasons that you cut them out, is because mm. they've made it as cost effective as possible. So this is one of the cheapest ways Was to it get 30, high quality. Was it $30? Yeah, $30. I don't know what it is translated into UK. Man, that's pretty cheap. Uh, I mean, compared mad. to minis and stuff as well. Yeah, like 30 bucks for a, a, like a for thousand that, different pieces. Yeah, oh, there's a lot in It's here. normal. Oh, wait, no, it's... It's poison. I don't have nails. <laughs> it's poison. Nice. Cool. Very well, good. thank you very much, Dungeon Craft, for sponsoring uh, this thank episode you. as a one-off. Like Who else man. is sponsoring us? Chris as Tom. always, <gasps> our wonderful, beloved D&D Beyond. Yeah. So we've made the DM's life easier with how fast they can now make this dungeon terrain. Yes. What could make their lives even more easier? Players who remember their Well, ways. of course it would have to be <laughs> all their players using D&D Beyond. Yeah. Because yeah. without that, we would be absolutely fucked. I, I, would. Yeah, I saw yeah, a picture of us using uh, paper character sheets the other day. And oh. you laughed. I laughed. Oh, how he laughed. Oh, how I laughed. Why wouldn't oh. we use <laughs> the very best digital tool set for fifth edition? We use it every week and we wouldn't function without it. It's just that useful. Yeah. We can manage our characters without the fear of tearing through paper mm -hmm. I, because we keep rubbing out the same I know Trot's yeah. doing a read, but I ran a newbies D&D game on Friday and I made them all use paper character sheets. Yeah. How did that go? I had forgotten oh, really? like <laughs> how annoying it is helping someone make a character with a paper sheet. Yeah. Like, right, fill in all the little circles for the skills you're proficient in. Now yeah. write down the modified... Nope, that's the wrong one. Rub oh, yeah, that out. Need to, oh, right, here's your other benefit oh, from this God. class. Yeah. So Go back that. and look at this do, note do, do, and then... Oh, you've changed your proficiencies. Thing. Yeah, rub all of those out and yeah. do them again. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you can't see your sheet anymore because of the smudges. Here, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. 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 All that is irrelevant wait. when you have D&D Beyond. You yeah. can create a character a lot easier. It does all the math for you. It dynamically updates spells. So if you want to do that at level two, it tells you what damage you get and what to roll. It's just great, guys. It's great. It is good. Only, it's just great. If only it reminded people about cast features they forget all the time. That'd be great. Well, like concentration. Yeah. Concentration. <laughs> the most basic of mechanical yeah. things. I mean, he's even you need got to remember. See next to it. He's anyway, got his concentration. No. Anyway, are we, is, that, is that it? That's you got any more? No, there you go. It. Well, thank you very much, DD Beyond, as always. We love you. Yes. Um, big love to Adam and Todd and the whole team over at DD Beyond. Uh, we love it. It's great. We love it. I love it. Love I use it. it for all my home games. Like when I play, when I play on, I actually, I, this isn't official. This is me just talking about something now. Uh, <laughs> it's not official, but there's a, there's a Chrome extension you can get, uh, which if you play on like Roll20 and stuff like that, you can click it in in D&D Beyond and it sends it to digital tabletops like Roll20 and things oh, like that. Oh, That's pretty good. That's very I don't, cool. That's not official. So I don't know if I'm ruining things for you D&D Beyond, Sorry. but I thought it was really cool. Still fresh. Fresh. Very cool. Uh, if you're Freaking watching on, uh, Twitch, sorry, Twitch TV, High Roll TMD, there is an actual real extension where you can see our updating health and all that and yeah. overlays of characters. You can see how dead we are in yeah. 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 Hey, let's bring that segue back. Hey, Trot, that sounds real fresh. Thank you. What else Speaking is fresh? fresh. Oh, come on. Speaking of fresh, <laughs> fresh, <laughs> merch. fresh merch. Here we go. Fresh merch. Fresh merch. Fresh merch. Uh, so we mentioned this last week, but we now have a brand new High Rollers focused merch store, uh, which you can go to. Uh, the link should be in the, if you're watching on the High Rollers Twitch, there is a panel which goes to it, um, and I'm yeah, sure that there will be a chat in Yogscast, a command in Yogscast. We've got a whole new range. So we've called this range the Prime Collection. It's going to be sticking around for hopefully a long time. Um, we found the Prime. We found the Prime. Found uh, the prime. There's two new t-shirts. So some of us are wearing uh, this flower design, and then Tom and Katie are wearing the long sleeve shirt, which is known as the Critical Hit shirt, with a cool design on the back. Uh, there is also a brand new hoodie. We have a new set of metal luxury dice with a vegan leather bag. Mm. The little uh, D20 symbol printed on it as well. The dice will have a custom high rollers on the 20 on the D20. It will be same uh, as all of our other yeah, ones. Have little had. shield They're crest waiting. with a HR non-spin down. Um, Shield crest thing. We got hats. We got beanies. We've also got our old beloved plastic items. Dice. Like yeah. the plastic dice set is still going to be in our base collection, as well as the notebook and, and the tote bag, bag, which is a good and size for hold it. Uh, yeah. Reece's and our the, and our snap bag. He's got the slouch beanie slouch on. Slouch beanie. Um, feeling real comfy. Feeling real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just trying to get. So, the oh yeah, the taggy. 
And oh. you can also on the times. <laughs> honestly, it's an improvement. <laughs> wow. <Whoa. And> <laughs> there you go. Um, That's what you can get it for. <laughs> and you can still get 10% off your order with the code high rollers at checkout. So yep. same as we did before, you can still get that discount. Um, Great gifts quality, for Christmas. Quality yes. of the t-shirts we've moved to yes. unisex fit, which is still fantastic on all of the ladies. We still love them. Really soft. Very soft. Uh, it's a the, new style of t-shirt. The long yeah. sleeve, for those of you who have the Barbarian shirt, the long sleeve is the same as the Barbarian shirt was. Mm -hmm. um, we just sort of used that as a bit of a spark for, yes. hey, this is nice. We should improve everything. Sizing guide will be added hopefully soon. Sizing guide is on every item except the hoodie. Maybe. might now be up, but um, it, should be there. it should be there soon if not. Brand new uh, store. Yeah. Brand Very, new cool. Very cool. Thank Very cool. Great ideas and for Christmas. Abby. Yes. Yes. Abby has been an absolute star in getting all of this together for us. Uh, and with fresh merch. Roll uh, strong, Harry. grow high. Yeah, that's it. You got it. You <laughs> nailed it, buddy. Um, I already <laughs> talked a little bit about the Jingle Jam. So yeah, as mentioned, special on the 8th of December. Normal time slot. So come watch on, on Jogscast. We'll be on the normal time slot. We might not be on high rollers as well. We need to figure that out. The other one that we were going to do is on the 15th of December. We're My doing birthday! Another... Kim's got her birthday yeah. in the morning. And then we're going to have a high roller slot afterwards. Oh, you're going to be tired. But we're going to do, um, <laughs> rather than doing D&D, &D, we're going to play Dread, which is a really cool RPG, which you might be familiar with, uh, yeah. which uses a Jenga tower, or non-copyright block tower. It's terrifying. Um, it's, it's really good. Really Tom spooky. played it with it. It's really yeah. fun. Um, and also probably doing some board games. We're thinking of bringing some favorites back, like Reigns, because we know mm. lots of people enjoy this playing that. So um, we're going to do that on the 15th. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a lot of other RPGs throughout <laughs> December. Um, and with that, I think that's pretty much it. I've so got many two things, things today because it's our last episode. I've got two things. One, uh, Bryony, who is a good friend oh, of ours, yes. is currently in the middle of a 12 hour charity oh, stream. Uh, I think she's now on her seventh hour. She's going until um, 10 p.m., so you can tune in. Yeah, don't yeah, go now. Don't, don't go, go now. now. Go after this but in the also, last two hours of her stream. It's Bryony K, twitch.tv slash Bryony K A Y. Yeah. yeah. Um, and What's it all for? That's Bonnies. To raise bunnies. money for the uh, the vet that nibbles. gave her, her nibbles, who gave her her bunny, basically, and okay. did a load she of stuff to make sure that the thing. bunny was. Safe in her home and happy and cheerful and healthy. It's to help it's very cool. their vet bills, essentially. Yes. Um, and I think she has already re more than she she's, has. Actually, she's, she's doubled her, her target yeah. so far. But That's she's nice. such a sweetheart. Yeah. Please support her if you can. Cool. Uh, and the second thing is apparently. We don't have audio for the intro again. Aww. How convenient. How lovely. Now, me and Rian, we, me, me and Rian, me, 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 we gave our heart. Johnson, director yeah. of Star Wars. <laughs> we gave our heart and soul last week, and you yeah. know what? I think it's time that everyone else gets involved. No. I think we should all I'm pitch in. I'm involved. My own fucking song song. <laughs> we should all I've heard enough. get involved. I'm going to make commentary. a new intro. Make this the prime a cappella. We'll find the prime again. Can there you I go. Still Use that word. bits about the stuff rising and falling. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sid, run the video. <laughs> dun, dun. I'm not doing it. Bam, bam! <laughs> nope. Dun, dun. 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 Dun, Yes, 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 it dies. Whoosh, whoosh, Oh my god. Hello, welcome back. To high rollers. Tom regrets everything in life. Thank you. Especially the fact you're going to have to edit this out of the podcast. That was very loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You asked for it. I didn't. You, you, had, you inflicted this. Attack. I didn't know. I didn't know. How was I meant to know? It's Mark. Yeah. You antagonized. You went the into DM. a different song entirely. <laughs> I know. How happy you are. What theme was that? I that was the back future. The future. Was it was back to the future. Back to the future. Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, anyway, new intro. Oh, uh, I'm crying. You Last to... time. Merry Christmas. Sid, run it again. <laughs> no, <laughs> run it again. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. No. Last time on Erois. 
In the busy marketplace and arid streets of Vivek City, the party defend themselves as a surprise attack by cultists, snake women, and stone giants engulfs the city and threatens the Draconis Militarum. An intense battle follows as Ayla fends off three crazed cultists that get stronger the more damage they take. Lucius and Quill are harried and under threat from the magically resistant snake women, and Sentry is sent sprawling by the stone giant's immense strength. A magically propelled Nova literally flies onto the scene to even the odds, and eventually the group defeats the attackers. After meeting with Sergeant Dakal, a Dragonborn elite soldier who informs them of the attack on the rest of the city, the party retreat to their ship to make sure it is alright. A chance meeting with the crew confirms they all survived, and after a few heartfelt conversations, the team retire for the evening. In her dreams, Nova Vija is contacted by Callus, enemy of Erois, demigod emperor of the Starbane Empire. Before we do that... <laughs> okay. Quill. Oh. Ooh. I get contacted by Starbane. <laughs> <laughs> get in line, bitch. <laughs> hey, I'm currently on the phone to Nova. <laughs> Party line. <laughs> it's been a while since Quill's dreams were as vivid as they become. You see what at first feels like a dark room blinking with different lights. You soon come to realize is a shrouded map of a Rois. You see different locations beginning to glow and pulse with light and warmth, and then they begin to grow dark and cold. The vision of this map slowly begins to fade, peeling away, almost <coughs> burning as if fire has caught the edges of the paper as it begins to trail inwards, leaving golden lines in their wake find yourself staring up and you realize that this is no longer a dream but a vision oh no you see before you something that your brain struggles to comprehend it is a hallway made from an infinitesimal amount of other hallways, all intersecting and crossing with another, as if thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of mirrors all line it at different angles and seem to stretch reality out into oblivion. And at its center, you see not just Hesper, but other figures. The winged humanoid form of your god stands before a great council. You recognize some of them as they are depicted in religious iconography around Erois. Belena, a dwarven woman with uh, dark curled hair and a great hammer at her side. You recognize Zephyr, an orc woman, proud and noble with a cutlass at her side. Sayana, a small halfling gently strumming upon a lyre, she sits in an oversized chair. Kilara, her lantern lighting the room softly with a dark glow as her mantle of flowers constantly wilts and regrows around her shoulders. Atelicus, a god that you have heard of but for the first time see in his imposing form, giant, muscular, with great curved antlers and horns protruding from his head as he reaches and grabs for the throat of Hesper, fiercely engaged in some sort of conflict that you struggle to understand. The gods erupt into argument, all picking different sides, their voices resounding but not understandable as the infinite corridors begin to expand and coalesce with their, with their every breath, their every shout. And you see the ground beneath them begins to fracture and break as the vision ends. Okay! <laughs> Nova. <laughs> oh my god. Hit me. The 
last words of Callus ring in your mind. Why did you go to Aegis V? The ship that you have been standing on, in whatever this place, whatever Callus has taken you, it shifts and warps. And you now find yourself on the bridge of Aegis V. It's broken remnants, the debris field outside it, expanding outwards, surrounding Erois. The words just echo in the empty, lonely space. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know that we were going there. I. I didn't even know that you had such facilities. That you had astral citadels. I, we were. We were helping, um, we were helping some Tritons. We were trying to find a missing, their, their village went missing, the villagers went missing. It led us to a portal and, and that's where we ended up. I would like for you Fucking. to make, there is elements of truth in what you're saying. Oh, it's all true. It is true, but we know that Nova is concealing information. That the party had clearly identified that Starbane was involved and that you had gone there to investigate. <coughs> However, you may choose deception or persuasion. No, oh, they're both the same. Uh, persuasion. Sure. 17. 17. Stop that. <laughs> Why? If you were merely curious, once you had arrived, why not simply explain that to my agent? She didn't exactly... <laughs> she, she didn't want to talk to us. She... We did say that we had seen, that we had met you. We tried to tell her we met you at Callie's Rest and she didn't believe us. And then she attacked us straight away. And then I was going to try and say something, you know, find a way to prove to her that we had met you, but she just vanished. He moves around in front of you and looks down at you. And he's, he must be nearly seven feet, perhaps even taller. Um, and his armor pulses with this purple light as he looks Pops down. Off his chest, please. Don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> he looks down and gestures <laughs> to your arm. And what happened here? Um, the portal was closing and uh, we were trying to get off the station and I, I, I panicked and I didn't know if everyone would make it. So I thought maybe, um, maybe I could use my, my, my life to power the portal and, and he uh, reaches down and just like like ow, takes your ow, hand. Ow. No, gently. He doesn't like <laughs> not not harshly. Like no, I think just like I think just yeah. reactively. I'd be like, oh, oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. He, he, no, no, no effect takes place. He takes the metal gauntlet and he takes it off and shows this skeletal arm that you have, but he touches it without any how cause can, effects. How can you? It hurts others. It is impressive that you were able to channel this kind of process, it would have killed many lesser beings. You are lucky to get away with just this. And he helps put the gauntlet back on. There are many things you do not know about me, Nova Vicha. I do not have the time nor necessary inclination to reveal them to you yet. I do not feel that I can trust you yet, nor that you do not trust me fully. Which is a shame. I sense so much potential in you. And you of everyone seem to at least understand what I am trying to accomplish. I, I do. I, I mean, you've shown me Hadar, and I've seen I Hadar. I've shown you only a brief, flickering moment. Exactly, but... He waves his hand. Oh, God. And suddenly the kind of environment around you shifts and change, changes. And you see not quite a montage, but flashes. 
you see worlds like you've seen the one you saw before where it was being partially consumed by this writhing mass of darkness that is made up of hundreds, thousands, billions of creatures. But now you see worlds that have been just turned to grey. They are lifeless, dust, ruins of buildings, of civilizations. You flicker again and you see these writhing masses, like these ships of this pale black and grey form just floating through space. Some of them fighting ships. They just consume anything they find. And then finally, it stops on the very edges of this writhing mass. And you see, for the first time, closer than you've ever seen it before, a hole has been ripped in space. And at its center is a red light. And staring at that red light, as your eyes begin to adjust, you see for the first time the shape of a man in the red light as the power ripples out from him and turns into darkness. Hadar lives beyond our world in a place called the Far Realm. Our magic will not work there. My technology offers little protection. This hole that he has created is the result of something that happened thousands of years ago and the actions of different realities to our own. Powerful beings that were freed from prisons and weakened the very fabric of time and space. Creatures that have been released from infernal prisons. Powerful magic that has been unleashed. All of it used by a group that sought to unleash Hadar on this world. And for thousands of years, he has grown stronger with every world he has consumed. He is, for the most part, unstoppable. So what is it about Aroes that you think will stop it? Why, why is Aroes the key to your plan? I cannot tell you that, Nova. Is it, is it because, is it because you're going to use the energy of this planet to feed a weapon that will destroy it, that will fix it, that will fix the hole? I, is it, is it Siaska? Is it the cradle protects Eroes and hides it from him? I cannot. Why not? Because I do not trust you. Then why, why, don't you understand? This is why people fight you. Nova Vigir, I have been doing this for thousands of years. Do you think... Of course you do. You think that I could simply explain this to the rulers of Erois and that they would join me, that they would see reason as you have and they would fight against Adar. That is what you believe, isn't it? Well, if I can see reason and I'm just a, I'm just a Ganassi yes, who likes reading you books. You are more than that, Nova Vigia. But if I can believe you and see the logic in it, why, there are more. There are more people who can. Yes. They fear you, and that's why they fight you. No, 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 Vavija. They fight me because they still value something that they think they can have. The ones who fear me are the ones who listen. Even you yourself, I can tell that you are trembling. You fear me as well. You know my power. That is why you would listen. But you also see reason. You have a noble heart. You care about other people. Not everyone is so selfless. When I started this crusade against Hadar, it was when Siaska and I still worked together, when we still loved each other. And when I did so, I did as you suggested. I reached out, I tried to form alliances. And they did, they did join me for a time. But then as I gave them more of my magic and my technology and my resources, greed, ambition, these black stains in mortal life took hold. And then suddenly, they would send me less troops. They would ask for more, more power, more autonomy. They wanted a say in how that we were con to conduct our battles. They wanted to use Hadar's power against it. I tried and I lost countless systems and worlds, billions of lives 
because of greed and ambition, and I learned my lesson. There is only one thing that people will truly follow. Fear. But you see me as a tyrant. I will show you something one last time. He flicks his hand, and again the scene changes. And this time, you see something different, something you've not, he's not shown you before. You see a thriving planet, a planet with astral ships coming and going, dozens of cities full of life and population. You see humans, dark-skinned dwarves with flames for beards. You see Ganassi, you see Dragonborn, you see Eladrin, all living lives. Peacefully, trading, making business, raising families, learning, working on weapons and ships. Peace. This is Gideon Prime, a world that I have worked with for some time. They enjoy peace and prosperity because they follow my rule and my order. They do not question it. Because they do fear me, but they respect me because of it, because of my strength. This is what happens when a planet surrenders to me. I will bring peace and prosperity. But Aroes is too tainted by Siaska's children. They hate me for what I did to their mother, an act that I myself hate myself for, but I know was necessary. Do you honestly believe the people of Aroes would lay down their arms? Would the dragonborn? I know that you have spoken to them recently. He just puts a hand on your shoulder. I want to tell you more. I want to help you. It's clear that you have formed a bond with Tiangong. Perhaps you could be a successor for me. You could carry Tiangong. I have no need of him anymore. I can find, help you find more parts. Give you, you some. You have parts. Yes. I could give them to you. If that's what you want. And what do you want in return? your help and your trust. What can I do? I'm... There are things you can do for me, but you will not like them. I need information. I need to know what the leaders of Erois are planning. I need to conquer Erois, no. Not because I want to, because I need to. And then is Erois going to become like Gideon Prime, or is it going to become like one of those out there? And I point at like, I'm yeah. fucked up. <laughs> I will not destroy the Sedatas. Please, just, just a clue, just something. What is it that is so special about Erois? Why Erois? Is it because of Siaska? The answer you seek lies long in the past, and it is tied to Siaska. But I cannot tell you more, not now. Tell me what the leaders of Erois are doing. Find ways to sabotage their military. If possible, if you can find a way to bring down the cradle, there will not be a need for a war. Erois will have to surrender to my overwhelming power. If I can bring my empire to bear, there is no hope for Erois. They will surrender to it, me. If you can do that, you will not only save Erois, but you would save the universe. <laughs> and you would have anything you desire. But I need to know why Erois. I can't do this just on a promise. You have to give me a fact, at least. What is so important? Why did Siaska die to protect Erois? She loved you. She loved you and she gave her life to protect this planet from you. What makes you so special? Why are you the only one that can defeat Hadar? Because I am the only one willing to do what is necessary. If you want to know why Erois, I cannot tell you, but I will tell you the question you should be asking. Perhaps your very clever bird friend can help you fight, figure it out. How did Siaska create Erois in the first place? It has no sun. It has no life. She took a lifeless rock and made a verdant world. Answer that question and you will know why I need Erois. If you wish pieces of Tiangong, help me and I will help you. I will have an agent of mine 
keep an eye on you. And when you are willing to communicate or you have something, they will approach you. Goodbye, Nova Feature. And the dream ends. <laughs> The dream ends. Oh, look, there's a, there's this one, too. Yeah, great. Oh, big middle fingers firing out. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. I could have gone a lot worse for you. Could have gone a lot <laughs> fucking worse. I had a whole thing planned if you hadn't been clever and nice. What was clever? What, was cl what worked? No, just... <laughs> what worked? <laughs> the way that you approach things. You'll like, if you had been a bit more, sort of, perhaps... Um, rude. Stubborn. Or stubborn. So you're saying that my try-hard planning worked? Maybe. <laughs> oh, wow. I've literally <laughs> sat that? down two? on this week. Is that four pages? I wrote, no, no, it was just it's two. Oh, it's okay. a mind map, and then I wrote like some ideas. <laughs> so in those few seconds between this week and last week, you went into your mind palace. <laughs> I love it. Damn. Oh, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Everyone else? You enjoy a long rest? I oh, don't. Yay! Ayla is snoring. Beautiful. I mean, does Sentry? She's having a really great nap right now. Every time, so for Sentry, yes, it is a, a lovely it's long a lovely rest. rest. It's almost difficult to wake yourself from yeah. because it's so nice. It's, your rest is full of memories of solving and service and better times. You know Spirit. Anna from Frozen when she's like drooling and her hair is everywhere? That's Ayla. That's Ayla when she's mm -hmm. sleeping? Yep. About right. Oh, all oh, the the blessful ignorance who uh, know little of the world's problems. Set a hard day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, you wake up. <laughs> you're. I believe you're all staying on the ship. Uh, it is a lovely early morning. Fucking cry. <laughs> uh, In fact, Nova's gonna do that. She's gonna wake up, hold Tiangong to her, and just cry. Can I? I guess upon waking up, can I go to? whatever quarters I have maps in. Not me. And um, you said that there were areas that were lit up in mm -hmm. that vision. Mm -hmm. Am I able to identify what areas? You can identify some, yeah. Some you've not been to. You're almost certain Gold Throne was one. Okay. Uh, Gust Haven would have been one. Um, Vortensar, Nova's home, would have been one. That'll be cool. Let's go there. Uh, Imixan, which is a city you've visited before as well. Basically, you think it's all major cities. Horizon, another sky city. Yeah. Pretty okay. much all of the major cities that have any political power or influence. Leaders. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, um, okay, I'm just going to sit there and just look at this map for a while. A great nap. Yeah. She's had, like, Ayla is just <laughs> literally, she, it, was, it was a rough battle, so she's yeah. really tired, so she's just going to snore and sleep. And, um, Whilst everyone else yep, cries or freaks out. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> just has their own. What's, how's, how's Lucius doing? How's Lucius feeling after his chat with Kamara and, and you know, the battle and everything else? Um, good is he, he just like in normal? Is it just, you know? No, he spends a long time thinking. Mm -hmm. And he walks to, you know, the edge of his captain's quarters for a little bit. Mm -hmm. like, yes, yes, here we go. Goes to the door handle. Nope. Turns around. Yep, yep. <laughs> Think about it some more, yes. Yep. Um, need tea first. And okay. it basically does loads of distractions until he's too tired. He finds like, my socks, they're all out of order. And like, pairs his fold, socks and like... Fold those up. Yep. And then he just eventually falls asleep. Okay. Because right. he's too tired to do anything. Okay. That was his night, basically. Yes. <laughs> okay. Avoidance. Avoidance. Perfect. We all wake up in the morning. Um, Araya probably comes and just, you know, lets you all know that the day has started. Like a, hello, it's time to get up. The ship, uh, we are, there is business to do. Uh, I believe that you have a dragon to go and speak with? Yes, we do, yes, a dragon. You are the only one who is out of his quarters, Quartermaster Quill. We, so. we have to speak to the dragon. Uh, is everyone else awake? Have you spoken to anyone else? It's, they are not responding. I tried to knock on their doors. I can hear Ayla snoring. Uh, Sentry did not respond. Lucius mumbled something about socks. <laughs> Okay. I could hear Nova crying. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is a okay. <laughs> uh, anyone? Can you hear me? Can you? Is it, I think it's time we meet the. Who doesn't have their messenger ring? Who gave up their messenger ring? I did. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Araya. <laughs> Araya like uh, jangles the bracelet. Yeah. I um, tried that as well. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do the do the route. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go get on with my job. Sure. Perfect. Thank you. Um, I will. Go to Ayla's door first. 
I mean, it's quill. Like, would it be a loud, powerful knock? Or would it be like a... Slightly feathery. <laughs> yeah. yeah you get nothing. It's like a claw, claw. <laughs> You're not going to get anything in there. Uh, Ayla. I'll let you sleep. Move to the next door. <laughs> I think he's just too polite to wake people up. I don't give a shit. Do what you want. I've done, I've had my fun now. I've, I've had my fun for the next three hours. I tormented Kim and I tormented you. I'm, I'm good. Uh, Steven, I thought at least I'd have some fucking answers this week, and now I'm worse. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a bunch of answers. Yeah, but they just opened up so many more questions. <laughs> I mean, did you think it was going to be like, ah, yeah, everything makes here's sense the plot. though. Here's, here's how you save a rose. <laughs> I, I Good job. Well I sent an email to Mark early this week because I had some worries, and I was like, I literally know you're not going to give me anything, mm. and everything I'm going to try is going to fail today. I gave you loads. <laughs> he's, promised you, he's promised you shards, money, like, he's given the you The villain's answers. promised you all these things. Is he a is villain? He is he even a villain at this point? There's a man in a hole. I mean, he seems pretty nice to me. Sounds to me like Callus is too. trying to basically save the universe. Gideon. That's what right. it sounds to me. Well, like, he's just okay. put a lot of pressure on me as well. Like, only you can save the universe, Nova. Fuck off. Oh, he didn't say only. Well, he you said could. you could. He didn't say only. You're yeah. into next. Callus doesn't put all of his eggs in one basket, that's all I'm saying. Uh, Nova doesn't know that. <laughs> Cap Captain Lucius? I burst open the door. Duh. Have you seen my other sock? I swear I put what it other under sock? the bed. <laughs> Just open the door, <laughs> use my bird vision. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <scary. Yeah. laughs> Where is it? So my, my question then is, has Lucius deliberately hidden the sock to try and give himself something to look for? socks are all tied away. Okay. In order. There are no it, missing socks. Everything is Every, Everything is in place. This room has never looked more immaculate. It's been cleaned. It's, it's been spotless. organized. He's organized uh, quills in like a size category. Is my feather in there? Yeah. No, that's on me. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. How tired do you... Well, I guess... How Rings tired. under the eyes a little bit, but otherwise not too bad. Is that normal? At this point, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Family's dead. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Um, God, sock. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where it could possibly be. I guess that's actually my job. Yes, it is. I, uh, I, right. I, I, you know what? I've got another pair. It's fine. Are you sure I could put that highest priority for the captain? No, we've got to. Uh, what have we got to do today? It's, uh, speak to a dragon. Yes, we do. We have to. I, they might hopefully let us leave uh, if we can actually speak to, you know, the bigger dragon first. Have you seen Sentry yet? No. I well, I knocked on Ayla's door. She's snoring a lot. Yes, it's a waste of time. I don't know why you did that. Yeah, I know. Um, well, I, we could wake, wake the other up, maybe. Let's see if Sentry's okay. Okay. So obviously we need to get out. Doesn't Sentry stay in my room? No, you all have your own quarters. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, I think you're thinking about the Sparrow Boy. Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't think any of you guys have really had time, like, you've not been at a place to get supplies, but I imagine over time you'll, like, slowly each room or cabin will get personalised, like, as you add things to it and things like that. Yeah. I can see Sentry doing that for I sure. I guess for the time being, we're just in regular <laughs> bunk <laughs> places. Bare bones right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's quite, yeah. I mean, I've like, it smells a bit too. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you right. decorated the ship for yourself. So the captain's quarters is already kind of decorated to an extent. Yeah. But the, the, the crew quarters are, and officer quarters are kind of bare bones. Nice, but bare bones. Okay. Um, in that case. Sentry. I'm going to open the door. Oh. Echo in hand. Oh, you, hello? Are you already awake? That's good. Hi. Do you hug Echo like a soft toy at yeah. night? <laughs> yeah. That's like adorable. Twig crunching it's like a sun. noises. <laughs> like holding a sun. Yeah. Your tiny sun. My little tiny twig sun. Um, <laughs> you look cheery. Yeah. I mean, as cheery as a blank face can be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so do you. How are you? Uh, well, yeah, good. I mean, yeah. we have to talk to a dragon today, and that's always a thing, isn't it? <gasps> it's so exciting. You can be on the front line in case it, you know, hangs. I don't want to get eaten, though. No, not, none of us do. <laughs> but I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready you, to go. you've got a powerful knock. Uh, well, uh, what, why? Why do you need it? Ayla needs waking up. <laughs> okay. You might need to kick the door in. I don't she was snoring do that. It's, real loud. It's, 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 it's don't kick the door ship. in as I'm walking down. <laughs> don't kick the door in. We've just got a new airship. Oh, uh, but <laughs> I don't know how to wake her up otherwise. Will doesn't wake... appreciate that those doors probably cost like 20 gold each. Like. They're pretty heavy. <laughs> okay, fine. But I don't have my ring anymore, the messenger ring, so... That's messenger ring. Ayla. Ayla? Doesn't work when someone's asleep. 
Really? No, it doesn't work. Oh. It's, it's, that would be so rude. Yeah, right? it's also just like, <laughs> you're asleep, you're not conscious. Like, you have no conscious thought, necessarily. So you couldn't like have any... a loudspeaker in your ear, though? No. No. It wouldn't like seep in. If it was, it, it, do you not think Ayla would have thought. waited until Lucius went to sleep every night and just went, Fuck! Lucius! <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's, it's conscious thought. Like, you okay. have to consciously be you awake. With it. Yeah, if you're unconscious, for example, if you were like rendered unconscious, you still can't communicate. Um, if you were paralyzed, you would be able to because you can still consciously think. It's not like going to bed no. with your headphones in your ears and waking no. up to death now. No, cool. <laughs> That's oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's well, let's try and get her up. Yes. Well, you, you go for Sentry. Okay. Uh, you, you're Sentry. You go for Ayla. Yeah. Let's go get Nova. Okay. okay. Wait, who's going for Ayla? You pointed at Katie when you said that. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> like, guys, you're fucking waking up. Like, do we really need to go Sentry, through all of this? This is very important. Jesus. This is an important this character is my moment. This glory. So yeah, fine, up. fine, fine. <laughs> Sentry goes to wake up Ayla. Lucius and Nova go to wake up Nova. You go. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Ayla's door. <laughs> I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna have a weird like lapse in memory though. I'm gonna be like, Princess. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, RP. Is anyone with her? I mean, Ayla, 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 Ayla. <laughs> okay, just complete. Piss off! <laughs> oh, so she is awake. I'm gonna go speak to a dragon. Uh, I don't want to. It's a very important it. day, Ayla. Come on. Mm, you're too happy in the morning. I'm sorry, but come on! <laughs> Open the door to stop her knocking on it. It's just like dishevelled <laughs> ginger hair is everywhere and, you know, half like armour is off and on and hammer is by the foot of the bed. Your hair looks great like that, by the way. Thank you. I'll be right with you. Okay, would you like a hot drink? No. No, no. Okay. See you in five. Five. Mm. In five, okay? No. We'll see. Okay, I'll just go back. Okay. Ayla's chamber, just for the for the records, Ayla's area is just compared to everyone else's. I imagine just has like muddy boot prints and like <laughs> the Quite. hammer's still probably got a bit of blood on it, so it's dripped onto the floor. Nice. There's just shit everywhere. It's, it probably smells a little bit bad as well. Like in comparison to everyone else, she's really not taking care of. Well, it. you don't like wash your clothes. She's good. So they wash themselves. Do they? Yeah. After in, a while. The, in blood. Sweat washes them. Oh, okay, maybe. I like to think that probably just, somebody else occasionally just takes them and washes them and puts them back, and she just. I think question that's it. probably Howard's job. Like your she bed just linens. And, it. Like Howard probably washes all of your bed stuff, but not your clothes. So you have like a very strong, musky, woody smell. <laughs> Do you actually use the bed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. If it's there, you know, I will use yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Lucius and Quill, you you hear sobbing coming from Nova's room, like Ooh. actual sobbing. That's always good. Uh, uh, it's, it's out a... of interest, Kim, you wouldn't have activated ILS, I'm assuming. No, you're just hugging Tiangong. Okay. okay. I know it's not safe. It's it's vibrate. You can just hear it like it's underneath safe. the pillow. Not I'm not doing it, Mark. Mm, just saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're the captain. This is more your thing. <laughs> I'm technically more sentries thing, but yeah, I'm, I'm backing up for this. Nova, <laughs> Ayla's just gonna walk Nova, past okay? in the corridor, hear the crying, and then go. Yeah, no, this is not my job. I'm just <laughs> keep going. <laughs> uh, Nova, it's probably got a cold, right? Just Possibly, cold. maybe. Yeah, people definitely sound like that when they have colds. Yeah. Um, just hear some hurried, and then put them. And I just open the door a crack. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> what? what was that? He rolled something. Yeah. I just opened the door. Oh, I saw what he rolled! <laughs> what did he roll? Just carry on. What did he roll? You did, just carry on. What number was what it? What did you think just it was? Just carry on! A one. Well, the door opens a crack. What's the matter? Are you okay? I'm homesick. Homesick? Oh. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. You Is there anything Quill? we can no. do? <laughs> She's not. No. Your insight's high enough that you're like, yeah. I don't know, go home. I'm going to go home. I'm just going to make your rolling trip. We can go home at any point. <laughs> if that's you what you really want. We have an airship. Have you seen yeah. this? We can go home. I've seen it. Go fix Sentry. You want to fix Sentry? Yeah. Which, which would you rather first? Go home. I want my mom. <laughs> All right, go home, fix Sentry. That's two on the list. No, but Sentry's more important. Right. Sentry's more important. There's more to it for Quill. 
You can just tell by the body language. Nova's not that good at lying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that everything? Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it's, we need to. We need to sort. If we're getting the sentry thing, that's what we're doing today and now. I think. Um, so. Yeah. Hey, Quill, have you heard from Hesper recently? Sort of, actually. Sort of, yeah. but no. Uh, more of a, a vision sort of thing last night. I was hoping we'd actually all sort of gather everyone together, have a captain's quarters sort of meeting, rather than a at the door, one person's crying, two of us are awkward sort of meeting. Um, so... I might, I might take a sick day. Well, is... <clears throat> Why, why are you getting up? Oh, whispered! Oh. For the podcast listeners, Mark has gotten up out of his chair and is whispering into Tom's ear seductively. Yes, very seductively. I was like, no, it's fine. Okay. Smeek. It's about Smeek, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so how about. We get you out of that dark, horrible, scary, lonely room. What? Excuse I, me. I mean... These are the most exquisite crew rooms that I could afford. It's exquisite, but in the wrong way. No, but aren't they lovely? Great. Th it's very... You could add some deco. Do you want to do that after <clears throat> we speak to the dragon? We can go get some lovely blues on the wall. Sweet. Maybe some clouds. Pointless. Pointless? It's so meaningless. That's it! I'm going to kick the door down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna it, grab there's Nova. not really a lock. Yeah, you just kind of push it open with your foot. Yeah, I'm gonna not very grab strong. Nova yeah. and sit her down on the bed and kneel down. It's like, that's it. Tell me what's happening. Quill, do you go in the room? I'm with, I'm with him, yeah. Okay. I'm also. You, you know where that's coming from. Yeah. I guess I'm sort of gravitating more towards if Lucius is sat like on the bed with Nova. I'm in front of the bed. Oh, you're in front of it. It's kind of I'm kneeling. sort of gravitating over to that side. Okay. Tell me what's wrong. No. I'm the captain. I'm just homesick and I want to go home. Is that true, Quill? No. Um, Nova, you know I could just find out. This isn't interrogation, but you know you can trust us. If All something... an insight. 16. What? What? Sorry, okay. Don't wanna... just, don't just <laughs> roll the thing out of 10. Don't wanna... just go... I just, Inside! I found that that sentence was very pointed. Okay. You know that I can just find... So that's quite threatening! Okay. That, I mean, not... that's fine. Like, I mean, yeah, so, I okay. To a friend. Don't, don't roll insight against okay. each other. You, Nova just infers what she wants to infer. Okay. Like, it's, it's, it's less of a case of like, he's not lying to you. There's no body language there of lying. Like, is Quill trying to be threatening? Or is no, he just like, it was, I can, he, like, I can why, make you tell the truth. Yeah, I did say... I could just find out this isn't an interrogation. Yeah. Okay, so you think um, that he's, yeah, with the, you, you imagine that he's either referring to the eye or like a spell that he can cast or something. Look, we're here for you. We're a team. Um, we share everything, right? Starbang spoke to me again last night. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Was it the, uh, the, the thing that, wait, did you bring you the don't thing? Know. You, don't you don't know, know about that. the eyelash. You don't know okay. that I took that, yeah. But. Was it a dream? Was it a nightmare? Do you know it was real? I, it was like the last time when he visited me. Remember when Sentry was at the forge and, and we were waiting and, and, and he visited me then and he warned me about Hadar and, and yeah, he he knew we were on Aegis V. Um, okay, well, but... Uh, did he threaten you? To come in at any point. But, 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 um... Same was this in response to... to what we did here, because we were, I mean, I guess defending against whatever he was doing, well, well Dark Hero, but... No, I mean, I'm guessing it was Shansara. Shansara told him, the, the agent that we met at Aegis V, yeah. he knew that we were at Aegis V and he was mad. But he didn't hurt you, right? No. I think... I think he you... could have if he wanted yeah. to. Yeah, I think Nova got the sense that like there was something about he had complete control over that environment. He probably could have done something to you if he wanted to. What did he say? He warned us about... He showed me Hadar. Like, properly showed me Hadar. Mm. 
Okay. I, I don't know how, I, I don't know if, if it's a spell I was going to ask you, Quill. I don't know if you know any kind of spell that does this. But it was, it was more than a dream and it was real and he took me to different places. He took me to the, the Aegis V, he took me, I guess I was on his spaceship and, and he took me close to Hadar. Okay, um, but how do you know you can, I mean, it's Starbane, how do you know you can trust what he's showing you? Do you want to make an arcana check to see if you know, like... Yeah, I was going to say, I saw yeah. you typing away, I didn't know if you were trying to find the spell. It was yeah. delay tactics, Mark. No, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I've known about it, I was bringing up the details. I know right. exactly what I've been doing. Uh, arcana plus five, 17. 17. Also, this is, uh, technically make it with advantage, because Hesper is the god of magic, so... Nope. No. <laughs> 17. 17. <laughs> There's something. There's something, maybe not in necessarily the teachings or things that you've read, but uh, it, almost like inherent knowledge as you've been getting more powerful spells. There is a spell um, that allows someone to contact people through their dreams. It allows the person to shape the dream, to speak with them in the dream, to basically, yeah, communicate, fully communicate. And you do, you think that that person can change the dream into a nightmare, oh, cool. and that it can cause damage. Lasting effect. Lasting effects. Um, it's especially <laughs> more powerful um, if somebody has something of the person physically. Um, very similar to how scrying works. Whereas if you own something that the person once had, or if you mm. have like a lock of hair or an item that, that, was, that was theirs, piece of the it same becomes weapon. more powerful piece of a bonded Eterna, perhaps. Um, but is other pieces that he had... Anyway, well, yeah. That's a, um, yeah, that's a whole different philosophy. Um, but you know that... Um, it's not really a priestly spell. It's something that, uh, like a wizard, somebody like who's more or like a more of an arcane spell. Um, perhaps maybe like a natural druid might be able to use it as well. But hmm. there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is Starbane, and he was showing you things through your dream. He can shape it however he wants. How do you know that what he showed you was true? Was real? We've seen, we've seen elements of Hadar before. You saw the, the Hadar touch, the, the, the... Saw them pretty close, yeah. Um, but, but... It matched all the descriptions I read. Remember when I did all that research in Gusthaven? It matched all of those descriptions, but it was so much worse. Maybe he, he made it worse to add gravitas to his point, to convince you of something to put you on his side, to disrupt us. Not to downplay Hadar at all, I'm sure it's awful, but it, there must be a reason why he's showing you these things. Because he wants to show what happens if Erois doesn't, doesn't bend to his will, I guess. What if that's a good deception to get what he wants? What if Hadar is something else, or, you know, a different threat, or a threat all the same, but he's actually got it under control and he's utilizing it to, I don't know, get Eroes for a different reason. I mean, me and Ayla did see something when we were getting, coming back, but... <clears throat> just over, over the bracelet, you just hear, Hey guys, guys, I've been waiting up here for you for like oh, a few minutes now, bit bored. Gotta go see a dragon about an airship, right, leaving, anyone? Oh, Ayla, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, I'm ready to go too. Okay, we'll be right with you. Just getting Nova up. Oh. Nova! Right. Oh yes, uh, Quill would, uh, the sailor and sentry saying they're ready. Okay, so. do you want to bring them down? Should we go up to them? Should we have a meeting? Do you want a meeting? Are you okay? Do you need a moment? Do you need to tell the group this? Fine. Not here though. Where would you like Stop to Stop it, Mark. Where would you like to discuss this? In your captain's quarters. I haven't tidied. The, or your, your room with the Cut thing. back to an immaculate room. <laughs> <laughs> Just not here. That's absolutely fine. 
We'll do it in Quill's room. Okay, in my room? It's fine, we'll do it in the captain's house. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, I'm gonna message uh, Lucius. You cast the spell message. Uh, the cantrip message. Mm -hmm. And I wanna message. tell him <laughs> to... I mean, yeah, I think, like, Nova would see you being like... Oh, oh it's verbal. <laughs> Okay. It just, the just verbal, gonna... but it is um, the verbal component is the message you whispered, and she won't hear that. But if there's any somatic components, she would see. Oh, uh, I didn't realize it was so obvious. The cantrip. <laughs> I just uh... imagine like if it was modern times, you'd be like. If you want to try and do it like, subtly, if you want to try and do it subtly, make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> yeah. I guess because I try and time it with like the up. messenger ring when they're listening to that. Sure. Um... Can I? You're make, you're, so this will use your passive perception, over. What's your Not passive perception? Looking for it, yeah. 17. I'm guessing it's not nine. 17. It's a 9. Okay. So, yeah, you don't <laughs> know just quit. such a low passive percentage. Okay. Because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, and I say in the it's message... Very oh, mine's way higher. I'm not Dumb idiot. as shit. <laughs> yeah, no. It's Nova, like, you're dumb, book-learning dumb. Nova is unaware <laughs> dumb. Yeah. Like, I'm like, intelligent, okay. but I'm not very wise. Well, yeah. Ooh. You're the opposite. Why do you think I'm so easy to manipulate? <laughs> Come on! What'd you um, say? The message is... There's definitely something more here. It's <laughs> <laughs> you know it's coming from Quill. It's yeah. Quill's voice. There's definitely something more going on here, and it's in this room. Try and get her out of here. Well, Are you got a fucking rifle. No. Let's. Uh, you don't know. So fucking lootly, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the captain's quarters. I think this is very Guys, important. Guys, Bart. Hurry up! Let's come to my captain's quarters and have a meeting before Look, we speak. We need to have a recap. We need I to meet up with the messenger ring okay. message. Dressed. <laughs> Can I finish getting dressed, please? Oh, yes. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, yes, no, definitely yes. that first. Yes. We'll wait outside for when you're ready. Okay. I'll be in the captain's quarters. I don't need to wait outside. Yes, you will. Yes. <laughs> That's where he's going to be. Bye, Quill. No. No. You waiting here? Or? Yes, I'm waiting here. Oh Lucius. my god! Can I roll a perception now? Can I roll a perception now? You can, make, you can roll an insight. Roll an insight for me. Please roll low, because this will be amazing. <laughs> yeah. They're being weird, but not in any bizarre way. You don't. You don't think anything's up. They're, yeah, they're just. just they're, you, weird. I would imagine that with such a low roll, you just think they're I'm, they're worried about you. I'm also just distracted. Yeah, they're just like. worried about you. So Ayla's already gone to the captain's quarters. Okay, and his... so Ayla goes up to the captain's yeah, quarters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, does Sentry go up? I'll bring in coffee. Okay, you, the two of you, as you go up to the captain's quarters, see that there is a Beast Walker woman waiting outside. She's just kind of like awkwardly kind of like standing around, like looking around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> This is the culmination of a lot this of things. This is like an episode of This is like your MP. I've got to wrap a lot of threads up at the minute. So there's a lot of information that the group doesn't know about each other, and I'm like, well. Yeah. And she's just kind of waiting, and she kind of sees you both and is like, just awkwardly waves. Um, Hi. Sentry, you know this is Faith. She's one of the crew. Ayla, you don't know their names. <laughs> Why? Ayla wouldn't know their names. Dog one, dog two. Faith! Hello! Oh, hi, Sentry. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, hi, hi, Ayla. She kind of like nods. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, have you seen the captain around anywhere? I think we're about to be having a meeting. I think he should. Oh, he's, he's going to come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Would you like some coffee? Oh yes, please. Yeah. And she kind of takes that and like, <laughs> kind of like guzzles it a bit. Uh, <laughs> she can see she's definitely one of the more quieter of the Beast Walkers. She's not as rowdy as the rest of them, but she still doesn't do things elegantly. It's still kind of like. Captain's <laughs> yeah, you know, really hot. Ah, ah. <laughs> and kind of, it's like yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna Crazy battle yesterday, huh? And like, is this kind of yeah. like awkward, like, ooh. I'm gonna yeah, storm up with determination, knowing that there's a big meeting happening. Okay, so you soon. leave Quill. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, he does. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so, Nova, so Nova shuts the door. Nova is getting changed, getting ready. <laughs> Quill waits outside. Lucius is like, well, <laughs> just makes his way out. No, but you did. I tried. What do you mean? See you later. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, so yeah, Lucius begins well. making his way over. And what's Nova doing? <laughs> Try not to meta game, but what's Nova doing? I probably don't know that Quill's waiting outside. Yep. What's the ILS doing underneath my pillow? Gently vibrating, mm -hmm. like as it always does. Can I pick it up? 
and activate it. Okay. So you say eyeless. Mm. Okay. These are 20 gold doors, right? But how much you hit, do they... Well, you hear it. Your passive perception is high enough that you're going to absolutely hear this. Oh, um, damn. Okay. 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 So you... And you feel... You hear it hum. You say ILS. You throw it out. And you basically... Yeah. The, the image of Callus appears before you. For that... Uh, yeah. So Lucius, you, you come up okay. uh, ready to meet everyone. I think Araya also arrives at the same time. Ow. Uh, <laughs> I'll swim up uh... the middle. Okay, you, as soon as you come up the stairs onto the top oh, deck and look time. down the deck to the captain's thing, you see Ayla, Sentry, and Faith waiting outside. Hop! <laughs> I turn around 180 and just, uh, just <laughs> fold my arms. Araya comes up and is like, ah, so we are having our meeting? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! I turn Let's around go. again. Mm. Hello! Hello, everybody. So you move up. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, did yeah, you forget that Araya is now listening in to our meeting requests as well? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you move up and you say hi to everyone. And, like, you know, you, I'm assuming you guys are all like, hi, Lucius, or whatever, and stuff like that. Hello, Hello, yes, that. morning. Uh, is like, morning, morning, Captain. <clears throat> um, yes. Uh, yes. Well, this is nice. Can we go in? Yes. Before you have your meeting, can, can I speak to you briefly? We're still waiting on Nova and Quill, so, yeah, sure, why not? And I'll just open the door and go in and just sit on the bed that has been really neatly made. Okay. Well, I'm assuming Araya, like, <laughs> Araya looks at you and is like, Ayla, we are having the meeting in the war room next door. We're not going to have it in Lucius's bedroom. Well, he told us to meet us here. I know, because he's Lucius. He's in there. And she, like, points. She's like, <gasps> I am first mate. Come on. In there. This is technically an order. You have to listen. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll... What does Sentry do? Because Sentry's carrying out. I'm, I'm just, I've just got my coffee. I'm like, oh, it's going to get cold if we keep waiting around. I'm just going to put it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's like an old grandma. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like okay. a waiter. So you go in and you take a seat in the war room as well. Coffee yeah, so like, it, Araya absolutely grabs one and like takes one off of you. Um, and then, yeah, Lucia, she would have just left outside of fair. Okay, that's... Um... I, I know that you're busy. I don't, I don't want to trouble you too much. I just, I wanted to, I haven't seen you and I, I if you regret anything, I know well, that you were drinking. Uh, let's go to the captain's quarters, shall okay. we? And, okay. uh, yeah, and she kind of like steps brief, inside with you. Brief chat. Yeah. She steps inside with you. The door is open between the captain's quarters and the war room and like the other three are looking <laughs> at you. Araya looks at you, moves up to the door and shuts it for you. <laughs> so and then turns to you two and is like, <laughs> like strokes. <laughs> uh, I'll sit down. Okay. Uh, please, please take a seat. She like shuffles over and she looks scared. She looks really nervous and worried and she kind of sits down awkwardly on like a chair, like kind of like her little kind of hands like tucked up under her chin. Now, first Her of ears all, are kind of half drooped. There's no need to be concerned. Uh, I I've just been so busy and I, I want to apologize for, no, that's okay. for not coming to you sooner because it's very important. Mm. Uh, so, well, how do you feel? Uh, still recovering a little bit, and she kind of like scratches her thing. Uh, the fight was the, the hangover. Oh, both really. Right. Uh, uh, a little bit of both. I, I, I'm not much of a fighter, so I kind of just mainly hid. But I, I did. Uh, I hit one of the the cultist women. Um, and it kind of hurt my hand. But oh, good um, job, well done. Thank you. But no, the and then the hangover was really bad. Um, it was, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just this awkward kind of like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's let's discuss this, shall we? Let's let's make it. I just, I, it, it's fine, you know. If if you did something that you you regret, or, or if it was too soon, just I I understand. It's fine. Put a hand up. There is not an ounce of regret in what I did. Uh, yes, I, I I drank a lot, a lot. I drank a lot, a considerable amount. Actually. You did. You really did. Yes, we need to. Yes, we need to figure out the stocks for that sort of thing. No but, more, yeah. Uh, nevertheless, anything I said or did was not a lie. I do not regret the actions that were taken. I care about you very deeply. And I think we should honor what happened. Do you agree? She, she, you can see that there is there is like this spark, like a little sparkle behind the eyes. Her ears kind of like go up fully. And there is still the nervousness there, but she just, you can see like her breath just goes out of her body and her shoulders jump and she relaxes. She's like, thank you so much for saying that. Um, 
I, I would like to, just because I, I don't know how much you remember, but it's like I said, if, if I'm, and she kind of like holds the little rope ring around her finger, if she kind of holds it, if I'm with you in this way, then the others will leave me alone and, and it just makes things easier. And I, I do, I like you as a friend and, and you're so funny and you're really kind and I, I want to get to know you better. Uh, and just this, this helps a lot, a lot, a lot. And it would be really nice if, if this could stay, even just for a little while, while we're here on the ship or until I figure out what I want to do in my life or something like that. That, that would really mean a lot. I'm going to put that decision with you. Thank as you. As far as I'm concerned, we did that. We are bonded. But I know, I I know you that. weren't... It wasn't 100% your decision, so you think about it too, okay? And uh, maybe, I don't think you remember, but you talked a lot about what happened with your family and your sister. Yes. And I want you to know that I, I can be here for you as well. If, if you just need someone to talk to, I know you struggle with some of the others. You said that it's hard for you to talk to some of them sometimes, so just come and find me if you need to, okay? Absolutely. And that is why I, I took a shining to you. So, so early on, when I started going down there, the whole reason I went down there was to, to mingle and to bond and to understand. They, the crew really like you, they really Good. do. And what do they think about this? Well, some of the, some of the boys are a little, um, Unsure, they more of a doubt on my decision, I guess. Not, not that that you should take that to heart. That's just them. They're they're all tough and it's oh, fine. and I, that kind I of thing. Understand. And um, but they they like you too. They they appreciate the fact that you came down. And I know Kamara thinks a lot about you as well. She she regards you really highly. So uh, and especially everything that's happened. I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna leave you now. And she kind of like gets up in this kind of awkward way as well. Like, I'm just, I, thank you. Um, maybe we'll talk again when you're, when you're not busy. Uh, I'll uh, reach out and mm -hmm. grab her by the top of her arm mm -hmm. and just give a very gentle embrace. Yeah, yeah, she returns it in like a kind of like, a friend, a friendly hug. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I was in a dark place. I, I wanted to mingle and I wanted to get over some things, and I wanted to just make everything work, both in my mind and with this huge responsibility. So... You're a good captain, Lucius. You're gonna... Th this suits you. And she kind of like, you know, gives you a squeeze back, and, and then as she's going, also, you did promise the crew that you would come and teach us that uh, uh, Sky Elf song. The, the one about the... the, the oh, is that... Uh, right. <laughs> Yes. You did promise. That I you, did. You keep asking about that. So. Right. Maybe a few things, uh, yes, anyway, yeah, I'll think about I, that, thank you. And she just goes to leave. Yep, she went away. Um, those of you who are in the other war room, make perception checks. <laughs> the sentry got pretty good. 11. Yeah, you didn't hear anything. Oh yeah, Perception. 18. Yeah, you pretty much heard all of that sentry. Oh. <laughs> like, you know, Ayla and Araya are talking and you're just kind of being quite polite, but you know, your, your guardian sort of senses, you heard the whole conversation. Guardian senses. Yeah. Uh, let's jump back. Um, if we got like 10 minutes mm. before we take a break. Quick. So, Nova, what do you say? You see the figure, the illusion of Callus hums to life. Nova Vija. What do you want? You need to be quiet and you need to be quick. What do you want? You keep, you keep vibrating. What do you want? I want to help. I want to speak with you. It's, you, are, you are aware that when I am not present, that I am existing in something of a void, it is somewhat lonely. You are my only company now. I was used to serving on a ship that had, uh, on a station that had thousands. I am still, even though I am an illusion, I am still capable of conscious thought. I still have a need to speak with people. But also you, I can help you. Brilliant. How can you help me? Tell me, how can I help you? Is there things you need to know? Are there things that I can teach you? How would you bring down the cradle? Bring down the cradle? An interesting proponent. It would have to be the source of the cradle was Siaska's life force. It is tethered to Erois. 
and the halls of infinity. The seat of power for the titans that call themselves Eroes' gods. Remember what I told you, that the titans are echoes of Siaska, that they are not truly gods, but beings that exhibit um, aspects of her. If they were to relinquish their power, or if they were to give up their titanhood, Siaska could potentially even be reborn. If it drew in the cradle. The other option would be you would need magical energy of an incredible amount. But delivered from this side, the cradle protects Eroes from beyond the Astral Sea. An incredible high volume of energy directed from this side could disable it. I would gladly help you with this. You, you listen, you, you know when you're in the crystal, you can listen, can't you? To what is vaguely around me. I know that we are dragonborn, something about a dragon going to their city. If you could, if you could patch me in the IRS to the warship, I could control it. Stop that. It is merely an option. Consider it if you wish. Tian Gong. Yes. Do you, do you know where there are shards of Tian Gong? It will be tricky. My memory is obviously uh, limited to the moment just before the sundering. I have vague recollections of where some of his warships or uh, war machines were located. And they may be difficult to track now. Eroes' surface and landscape has changed dramatically. But if I had access to maps, I may be able to triangulate it. If you want me to trust you, you find me Tiangon, because I need them. If you can get me access to maps, yes. But you will need to activate me. Nova, please understand. Yes, of course I have the mind of Kara Starbane, but I am a programmed illusion. I'm not really built for deception. I am built to facilitate command. I'm built to facilitate strategy. That's what I'm designed to do. I'm not trying to deceive you. If you have need of something, I have limitations. I won't tell you things that I think would harm Callus' events or plans. But if you're working towards them, I'm here to help you. If you can get me access to maps, I will try and triangulate locations of Tian Gong. If they're lost, then rejoining them to you would benefit Callus as well. Look, you need, you need to be quiet. You need to stop vibrating and lighting up and, and people don't know I have you and if they find you... Then carry me with you. Take me with you. Can... can can people detect you? Can I will. I can ensure that they do not. Then do that and stop listening. I'm afraid that I'm. That is difficult to ask of me. Oh, then I won't play you anyway. Can I? If it helps, I cannot. The only person I can communicate with is you. The only person I could tell anything that I listen to is you. But you realise if people find that I yes. have you, it's dangerous. Yes. You know that already. You blackmailed me with this last time. Blackmail is a strong term. I merely pointed out that we have leverage over one another. But if they take you... I would be destroyed. Exactly. So, I have a very good reason not to make my presence known. But take me with you. Do not just leave me here as some forgotten trinket. What's Quill doing? I mean, it's whispered, but if you're like literally at the door listening, I mean, I'm like hanging on every word at this point. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> Very well. Is that all? Do you have any more questions? Anything I can help you with? Not right now, no. Very well. <laughs> Disappears back into the ILS. Ding, ding. ding. Drops on the floor. All right. <laughs> Oh boy. 
this this went a very different direction. <laughs> they had a whole bunch of other stuff, but boy, oh boy. Uh, and with that, we're going to take a break. Yeah. That's break time. Holy shit. Break time. Uh, Kim wrote me a note earlier, said, uh, let's dance, bird boy. <laughs> and he wrote me one back uh, going, you're done, son. Just so you know, <laughs> the natural 20 that Katie saw me roll was me rolling a perception check for Quill. I was like, he's got high passive perception, but oh. there's a chance that as he, if he's near Nova's room, because also being a cleric of a god of magic, the ILS, if it doesn't turn itself off, emanates yeah. powerful illusion magic. Yeah. I was like, well, there's a chance he'll pick up on it. Yeah. And I rolled a nat 20. I was like, if, if I rolled like lower, I would have just told him there was a slight buzzing. Mm. I got that natural 20, I was like, yeah, you you can feel a really strong magical presence. <laughs> Man, I think that's one of those times where I prefer that you made the roll for me yeah. as well, because otherwise it's just like, yeah, that's oh, why yeah, I, I know what it's for. I did it, yeah. yeah. Shit. I'm really oh. interested to see where this goes. Me too. So am I. Well, you guys go take a break. I'm going to read some donations. It's a good time to check out <laughs> Dungeon Craft 2 yeah. on the break. So yes. check out the link in the chat if you want to get one. Yeah, please get do. That cool pin. It's very cool. A whole lot of stuff. It's very, very fun. Scream! <laughs> I'm gonna eat another I'm Mr. Kipling. Out, like a fucking movie. I did. <laughs> yeah, it was so awesome. good. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want a Mr. Kipling? No, thank you. I'll take a Mr. Kipling in yeah, a minute. Fucking, yeah. It's gonna go down in a major way. What, the Mr. Kipling? Oh, yeah. Mr. Kipling's going <laughs> down! Uh, Mia Kitty, thank you very much uh, for the donation. As Hesper would say, ask the right questions, Nova. Good luck getting any info you can out of Starbane. Oh. Well, uh, pertained frame zero. <laughs> hey HR, off from work because I'm feeling down. Here's a donation for cheering me up. Well, you're welcome, and I hope that you feel better soon. He's <laughs> I thought you were coming back like to talk, tell me something. <laughs> I thought Tom was like coming back in to be like, motherfucker, I want this. Like I, ca I cast death on Nova. <laughs> She's dead. I kill her. I killed her. <laughs> Hyper L, thank you very much for the 500 bits. What if they're listening on the podcast? Tom, Tom, then perish. Also, I can't physically wait to see what Nova has to say to Callus. I just want you to know, uh, Kim, that we are the fans that suffer this with you as well. Thank you very much. I will let her know. Lightning Wing Dragon, hashtag no nuts, hashtag secret bassist. Can't donate much because I'm saving up for Jingle Jam. Also, Mark, why not just turn off gestures? Because uh, that involves me figuring out how to do that. Um, and those are wondering, you'll figure out what no nuts and secret basis means pretty soon. Thank you, Lightning Wing Dragon. Ola Renve, thank you for the donation. New message. Hyper L, 300, uh, Hyper LR, 300 more bits. Apparently, it's Celine Vellini's birthday today, as she mentioned in the other chat. So happy birthday to her. Secondly, Smeek would have been proud of this. Dun dun. Thank you very much, Hyper Lol. Uh, Shy Laren, thank you very much for the quarter hundo. Hey, Mark and the crew, first time donating. I'm just about caught up with the Lightfall. Last thing was Cam lost his Lightborn powers. Quick question, do you remember how to do the voices of Reynard's family? Vaguely remember go, ha ha! Uh, Baltier, I vaguely could remember. The rest of them, no. It's gone from my brain, it's too long. Um, new Alex, thank you very much. I finally get in before Dun Dun and no intro audio. If it's not fixed in January, then could you uh, use Red Alert's Hell March music? My prediction for this session. Quill angrily flies a trade in descriptions lawsuit against Hesper and the rest of the Titans of Erois. Well, maybe. He's only just found out about that. Uh, thank you very much. Scrooty Crow, thank you very much. Oh, uh, I finally caught up. I've been waiting to see you live for quite a lot. Starbane is such an interesting character. Thank you very much. It's always fun to have uh, empathic villains, I feel. Joe Wadi 18, final canon episode, episode for 2010, uh, 2019. Bam, Nova is developing a split personality. The gods are fighting so much law. Tell me, I love the relationship between Callus and Nova. Me too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, Rhiannon's coming and Rhiannon's like, woo! <laughs> I'm so ready. Nightjar. Uh, sad for the last canon of Eros of the Year, but excited for some Jingle Jam shenanigans. Oh, and thought I'd show some love to Cooper Orc on the HR d, &D channel who gives a bunch of subs each week without fail. Yogg's love. Well, thank you very much, and thank you, Cooper Orc. Thank you, Nightjar. Thank you, Cooper Orc, for donating subs on the HR channel. Rapso. Uh, first time in a while being able to watch live. Um, oh, man. I'm going to wait for, like... Right, somebody's asking, don't come on mic. Kim, any details on what Nova's new fancy gauntlet looks like? Hashtag oh, save a cosplay. Wait, I have a picture. Okay. I have a picture. Can you tweet that picture later? Yeah. Kim will tweet that picture later. It's on Reddit. It's on Reddit. There you go. So do I have my prismatic yeah. Yeah, I would. I yeah, yeah, yeah. She built one. her own one. Yeah, you've had your prismatic one for a while. Okay. Uh, um, so there you go, Rapso. Uh, Raging Rhino 101. 
Why do I have a bad feeling that Quill and Nova won't tell anyone about Ether's dreams and will end up secretly working against each other without realizing? No, 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 no! There you go. Just put it into like my frame. So it's like one of those old school full full metal plate gauntlets. It's very cool. I found it on Reddit. Yeah. It's got like skulls and shit. <laughs> Does it have the skulls and shit or is it just that style? Probably just that style. Yeah. Just, like people knights in like back in me would have like prosthetic hands like that. Uh, thank you very much. That was Raging Rhino. Uh, James Hunter four 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 four. I was able to DM my first game just this Saturday. Gone. It was interesting because some of the PCs were quite chaotic. Uh, that tends to happen with uh, new players. Thank you very much. Um, Meta Manu. Uh, hey there. The past two weeks have been quite tough on multiple levels. I missed last week's episode and a few days ago my car's clutch broke. Oh no. One month before Xmas and Jingle Jam. Yay. Life is great. I have to say, today's intro gave me life. Thank you, Mark. Meta Manu, thank you so much. Thank you for all your support as well. You're always super supportive of High Rollers. Thank you. Woody but Christmassy. On the first day of Aroes, Mark Humes gave to me, coming soon, along with other caroling favorites. If I don't catch you guys before, have a happy Xmas. Also, Tom, could you say a shit fucking goblin named Smeek? No particular reason at all. A shit fucking goblin named Smeek. Sorry, I wow. that up. A shit fucking goblin named Smeek. I'm guessing that Woody is going to make some sort of music. Oh, oh no, I've heard about this. And yeah. a shit fucking goblin named oh. Smeek. And a shit fucking goblin named Smeek. Hooray! There's another sample for okay. you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, uh, Woody. Look forward to that. Observatory Matrix, thank you for the ha 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 fundo. Uh, high drama in high rollers. Last donation before Jingle Jam. Looking forward to seeing what you all do. Thank you very much. And then that last one, you can do it, Sid. I just go, is that just Varys? No message? Is there anything else? No. Last one. Varys, no message. Thank you very much. We'll read any more that come in at the end of the episode. Thank you all so much. Breaks over, bitches. Breaks over, bitches. And hey, man, Trot did the dirtiest laugh out there. Really? <laughs> it was just like a... <laughs> what to? Like this fucking shit? Just all of this. It was just... <laughs> when he did it, it was just like the... I'm enjoying this one. <laughs> Well, I got a hand warming hot chocolate because mm. it's cold. Mm. Kim looks so depressed. I'm done now. Why? Side you wanted note, this. We're going to be getting a new this. mug on the store at some point. Oh, in new progress. Mug. In progress. So, yeah, don't forget merch, new merch, DD Beyond, Dungeon Craft. Thank you for the sponsors. Check out the new merch on our new store. I just remembered as I'm holding dice. a mug. Dice. Yeah. All right. We cut back into it. Hey, let's jump back into is, this. Quill is listening in. <laughs> What are you gonna do, bird boy? I'm staying there, staying at the door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For now. So. Sort of backing up a little bit. Ready for the door to open up. Okay. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the eyeless on me. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Would you like some popcorn to eat? No. I've made a really nice Mr. Kipling. Yeah, I'll um, I'll put ILS in one of my pouches or something like that, and then um, open the door. <laughs> okay, can you walk through? I'll open the door. <laughs> open the door. You see Quill. Oh, 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 uh, oh. I think now is not the time for secrets anymore, Nova. <laughs> Roll initiative! <laughs> <laughs> Blast! <laughs> I take off my gauntlet and strangle you! No. Wait, how much of that's canon? Um, uh, 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 <clears throat> what, what, do you, what do you mean, Quill? I heard the conversation. No! I heard. No, shh! Shh! You brought. Shh! Okay. Do you want to talk One minute. First? Okay. No, Quill, I don't want to talk to you. And I'm going to mouth silently. One minute, okay. Uh, I don't say one minute. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'm going to leave the door open. Mm -hmm. Put ILS. Really? Oh. Okay. Meanwhile, really good coffee century. Really <laughs> helped this morning. I picked some up in town. Oh, it was a rough day yesterday. Really, really needed rough. it. Yeah. Really good. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah. I'm thinking carry, it's like dentist. Carry on. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's not too bad. No? It's looking pretty good. Okay. Battle scars, it's fine. Cool. It's fine. Oh, sorry about that. That was just a um, diplomacy thing, you know? <laughs> Okay. Just, um, there was a bar fight and it just got out <laughs> crazy. Anyway, can I have a coffee? Of course you can, yeah. I'll give him a little wink. Thank you, Sentry. Can, can Sentry wink? Can Sentry oh, yeah, wink? Like, like, the one eye, 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 eye goes off. Yeah. Like, so it's like, it flashes <laughs> like, I grow concerned. Okay. Are, he you, just are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you been, um... Missing time or anything like that? Oh, no, I've just been having really nice dreams. Right. Yeah. That sounds very nice. Fair enough. It was very no, nice, really nice dream. Mm, cool. Yeah. Back down in the decks. Lower well, deck. I'll put the, because I don't see this sense of like this dark shadowy thing called DM just winking in the corner. <laughs> um, I'm going to put, put the eyelids back under my pillow mm -hmm. and still kind of like putting my fingers to my lips to quill. Mm -hmm. Shut the door like come out, shut the door, be like, we need to have this conversation somewhere else. Definitely, I could hear everything through that, by the way. Quill just outright is like, I heard everything. Fuck you. Where's Ooh, good to go? should've got popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> on the chest! <laughs> Threw popcorn everywhere. Um, where, where, where's, where's your... Kim speaking, where's your quarters in conjunction to Nova's? Uh, so you both have uh, quarters in the offices area. So, like so it's basically you, um, Araya, Quill, Greylano, and um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think you guys have mm. a set of deck uh, quarters, and then Sentry, Ayla, Howard, Lancian, and a bunch of the others have quarters, and then the wolf pack sleep on the bottom of the ship in like a big cargo. Okay. But is um, Quill's room physically next to my room? No, room. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, then. Just go and I mean, you, there's also like, there are things like storage rooms. There's the library that you've been building oh, on the yeah, ship. Like, you can, you can go okay. to like any other room okay. that would be significant distance away. Let's go. Library. Jump cut, library. Well, I'll ask you to lead me. But also, I say, you have to understand my perception on this. And my hand is like crackling with like the lightning thing. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? After I saved you all? Yes, we're a team. We don't share, we don't hide secrets from each other. Well, I have wanted to tell you about this, but I haven't known who to turn to. You turn to the four of us, the people who are working with you. There are some you. people who won't listen to me. They've already told me I'm crazy. Then you share all the information. Do it then. If you don't trust me right now, do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna instead yeah. use my eye. Okay. Uh, the eye of the storm, and did ask, we did we roll for your charges on that? Uh, yeah, it's been like three weeks okay. since I last used it, so it, yeah, it's definitely fully charged. Okay. I'm pretty sure so you I got three charges. Yeah, sure. Um, and I ask. Um, what is your involvement with Calistarmain? <laughs> That's not quite vague. I mean, I feel like I'd get the correct part that I want out of it, though. So, okay. So you're asking a past question here. So read for me the Eye of the Storm, what it says under the past. Like, the three uses. Um, you ask a question about a creature you can see, blah, 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 that stuff. Uh, let's see. Actually, why am I doing this? I can bring it up on your fucking inventory. I'm an idiot. Could he see it as a dream? Well. That's, now that's the interesting question, isn't it? And also, I haven't actually done anything. Well, we'll find out, won't we? So, you may ask a single specific question about an immediate surroundings, an object you are holding, or a person you can see. You receive a shadowy vision related to that question that lasts one minute. The vision may not directly answer the question, but will be as insightful as possible. If as question, insightful as possible, that's the If the, the question cannot part. be answered, for whatever reason, you see simply see nothing and do not expend a charge. And you asked... What is your involvement, or what is Nova's involvement with Calistarbane? Yeah. Now, I'm a, a question on that. Yeah. I suppose this is just by using the eye that I'll learn more about it. But it says it needs to be, it can be as insightful as possible. Does that mean that it would be outside of my realms of knowledge? It will actually grant me new information. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, which is what I think is. Here's the thing. It's not just a dream. So what? Quill sees is this. 
<laughs> Troy is so excited. <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very relaxing episode for me. Your vision goes cloudy as it fills with fog and the storm conjures in your eye. And for Nova, this happens in a flash of a second, but for you, it's longer. Quill, you see the storm beginning to part and fade, and you see Nova asleep at night. Her. <laughs> but then you see that there is a purple thread Ooh. coming from Nova, and you follow the thread. Your vision accelerates at a rapid pace. Ooh. And you actually follow it. It doesn't go out into the astral space. It remains on Erois. <gasps> and it begins traveling at great speed and distance. And it takes you to a sky city. Not Gusthaven. It looks like it was once a ruin. Inhabited by the dead. But not anymore. Now you can see... You can see soldiers of the Starbane Empire repairing it. You can see, briefly, you see them installing what appears to be the portal from below the Bright Flame Abbey into the base of the island itself. And eventually it settles into a large chamber where a robed figure, completely masked in this alien, very bizarre shaped face mask and a long veil and long black robes, leans over and the thread connects to a figure laying on the bed itself. And you see him in his dark armor and his sword. You see that the thread is connected to Callus. He wakes and turns to the robed figure beside him. I do not know if I can still trust her, but I think she understands the gravity of the situation. She carries Tian Gong, and she's begun to unlock its secrets. I think that she will want to find more of him, but we shouldn't just trust in her alone. I fear that she may still be trying to work against us. Continue with our operations. Let Vala know that her and the others are still alive. Hmm. Nova Vija, where will you land on the side of destiny? Ah, yeah. uh, and then the vision ends. So I say that. This is fucking great. I, I, I do say the question out loud as well. Okay, so okay, so you hear Quill say, what is your involvement with Kala Starbin? How do you respond, Nova? Oh, he fades for a bit. But I guess I, I see. You, you, <sighs> Problem is, Nova's not super perceptive, and this is literally like no, right. this is what Cla Quill sees. I think that we see the little spark of the storm, but Nova, Nova. doesn't see it. Is there actually for anyone else? Is there a if they were perceptive enough, they would notice that you've used the power, but Nova isn't. And even then, it's a super rare power. Yeah, so. yeah. They might just think you were like like you have a magic item or something like that. Yeah, my eye just twitches. That was such a fucking cool thing to do. <laughs> so fucking cool. Also, also, Kim knows where he is now because of something you said ages ago. <laughs> Nova doesn't know. That's very cool. What does Nova say to Quill? We That's what we want to know. Yeah, what is your involvement with? Quill, I'm going to tell you everything, but not here. Well, then lead the way. Come on, then. Lead, that's what lead the way means. <laughs> you first. You're infuriating. I, I'm sorry, I haven't had very much sleep. I am very stressed right now. Follow me to the library. Okay, okay, okay. So you lead him then? Okay. Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, they're taking a long time. <laughs> um, Quill? Quill doesn't have uh, a never. messenger in. Are you coming to the captain's quarters? Hey. Sorry, the, the war room. The coffee's Hurry getting up. cold. The coffee coffee's is getting cold. cold. Coffee's it's really definitely good cold now. coffee too. Oh, um, hey guys, uh, uh, Quill and I are gonna be um, a bit late. There's a problem in the engine room. Oh, is the ship going down? No, it's fine. It's Lucius fine. Lucius, you grounded, you moron. Uh, do, you need, do you need any other, do you need any it's, of the crew? It's Nova? fine. I can fix it. I just need Quill's help. We'll, we'll be late. Carry on without us. If you need to hit anything really hard with a hammer, yeah, know where I am. Uh, yep. Oh, all right. Fine. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad because like, yeah, like, yeah, no, you, sorry, you guys, guys are just waiting so on sorry. these guys, but... Okay. Oh, God. Cool. Sorry. You're just occasionally going to get really annoying comments it. in your ears. Here's the annoying thing. Here's the annoying thing. 
man, I want to know what fucking Sentry thinks about all this. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, a specific you reason. need to get like yeah. there these... is such a specific reason. Yeah. Sentry doesn't know yeah. because Nova knows how that will go. All oh right. God. Well, yep. Nova, and you find yourselves alone in this very ramshack. It's not really a library. No. It's more like a room that has been turned into a research area. There's like a chest with a few books and a desk and some ink. I need. Can you hear anyone around us? Can... No, the crew are all busy. No. They're not gonna pay any attention. I need you to listen, and I need you to not say anything or be judgmental or just... <sighs> okay, I mean, that's exactly what this needed right from the start. I wanted to tell you, Quill, and, and I, was, I was on the verge. I wanted to tell either you or Lucius because I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm scared. And what about... Okay, no, not Sentry, but <laughs> Ayla? Why? I, I don't mean... think Ayla will understand. Okay. I'm very wise, thank you very much. <laughs> Ayla just likes to hit stuff, right? Sure. Just point her in the right direction. <laughs> but... I have other interests. Listen. Okay. When we were on the station on Aegis V, you remember the ILS, right? That, mm -hmm. the, that Shansara was talking with a system that that could control the station. And I was trying to talk to it while you guys were falling. I was trying to find a way to get it to, to control gravity, to, to, to do something to help us. Sure. It appeared in front of me and it made a deal. It said that if I took it with me, that so it could live essentially, because the station's destroyed, in return, it would shut off the drones. But you, you could have just not honoured the deal. You realise what this is, don't you? This but island. You realise what? Do, do you realise what I have? This thing has the intelligence of Callus Starbase. Exactly. No, but we can use it. We have the most powerful bit of intelligence. In a rowis right now, I already have learned so much from it. But you you said it's it's the intelligence of Calistarbane. It's the image of Calistarbane. It's his voice. It's it is, for all intents and purposes, Calistarbane. And it's sat in our ship with all of these innocent people that it's don't know any better. Powerless. It can't do anything. It doesn't all, sound powerless. All it can do is talk. It doesn't have a system to control. That doesn't sound like that's all it can do. It can talk to you, sure, but plug it into the Vivex, and what does it do then? I'm it takes control. Do it, I'm not going to do it. Why would I do it? You tell me. I'm not doing it. Nova, all I know, and again, you have to correct my perceptions on this. You put your hand to Aegis V, you give us the time we need to get out of there. Much appreciated, but your arm whizzes away. There's some power that is clearly flowing through you that's not your own. You've carried a Starbane tech against our, everyone's knowledge this entire time. And you're also having visions directly to Kana Starbane, trying to test whether or not he trusts you. For what purpose? Because if it's Hadar, then maybe, maybe I might be able to understand. But there's one person that's destroying Aroeth and killing and wiping out people all across the planet. And then there's a shadow entity that's out there that isn't. It is. Quill, Hadar is swallowing worlds whole as we speak. And it is coming towards Aroeth. And everyone is focused on Starbane. He's not... He's the only one who's actually trying to do something about Hadar. I don't agree with his methods. I, in the conversations I've had with him, I've tried, I've tried to negotiate with him. I've tried to get him to see sense, to, to, to talk at least with the leaders and try and broker some, some treaties or something. Everyone's so throwing their resources against Starbane when it's Hadar. I think... You saw 
that herald that we fought. Yes, you can do what you want with Starbin, but what are you gonna do after that when Hadar is here and you have killed the one person who actually maybe has the power to defeat it? But what's the plan? What do we do? I don't know. Do we do we do we join with the person that wiped out all of Sentry's race? That. All of Solvin? No, but I'm saying if we get his intelligence, what it is, what it is he is trying to do, that's what I've been trying to find out. What is it about Aroas that he thinks can destroy Hadar? That's all I wanted. Well, how do you get me to find that out instead? Okay. So from what I've pieced together, the ILS, the ILS told me if I wanted to find Starbane, he would be trying to bring the cradle down. Mm -hmm. And he talked about, uh, he talked about a halls of infinity, wherever, wherever the gods, wherever the titans are, it's a whole, it's called the hall of infinity. And, and apparently that's where it can, that's where it, Mm -hmm. Guys, do you want us to make any more coffee? <laughs> I can bring some down to the engineering room. Yeah, we could actually. Yeah, we could just bring, bring it down, down to you if you want. Yeah, it's really good. There's no response. I can't hear that. No response. I'll go bring some. I'll go, I'll, 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 honestly, yeah. I'm honestly, I'm really speak? bored. If this meeting's not happening, I have other things I can do. Stick around. Mm. I mean, you you knew a little bit of what was going on. You're the only one who's Lucius kind of, well, Quill hinted at you that there was something more going on. I'll come with you, Sentry. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Captain's, All right. Captain should, right? Okay. All right, it's like, well, I'll, I'll wait here. And you guys, uh, I will tell you that in, you proceed down to the engine room. There is no one there. Uh, as you begin making your way down to the engine room. But <laughs> while that is while that is going on, <laughs> that is like what is going on while those two are having that yeah. conversation, yeah. basically. Um, yeah. yeah. Was it back to... Well, I'm guessing that, like, you guys, like, what do you do when you find that there's no one uh, there? Maybe Nova's room? That's the last yeah, time I maybe. saw Nova and Quill. Uh, no, Nova, are you okay? We're in the engineering room. We can't... Like, where are you? We can't... Are you, are you in your room? We can't find you. Don't worry about it. Guys, start your meeting without us. Quill and I are just... We need to sort something out. Um... Are they doing something, like, really intelligent that I'm not going to understand? Probably. Because if, if, uh, if, if they're doing like fancy shit like that, okay. eh, it's I boring. don't think so. I think there's something else going on. And I think we need to. Why are you raising your eyebrow like that? It's weird. It... <laughs> <laughs> it's creeping up without <laughs> meaning to. Like, something is afoot. No, we'll get down. <laughs> Quill suspected something and wanted Nova to be distracted so that he could rummage around the room. Wanted to search Nova's maybe room. Nova's caught him, and now maybe they're having a thing. Maybe they're fighting. Maybe they're fighting. Oh no! We Are you just... fighting? <laughs> <laughs> or how about this is not in the messenger? Well, why don't we just go to her room then? Okay. Yes. That's okay. Yeah, let's go. Hold on a minute. You guys said over that thing that you were gonna. No. They no, not they, that they, they were going to your room. They said something about my room. No. They said, no. "Are you in your room?" Oh, my wife said they that. They said, are you in sure. your room? Yeah. Sentry asked if you were in your room. Yeah, mm. you But go. you didn't respond. Yeah. No. But you didn't hear anyone say, let's go to the room. No. So you, is that what you guys are doing? Are you guys going to mm -hmm. go to Nova's room? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next so you begin making your way there. We cut back to <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> the worst detectives ever. <laughs> it really is. Like, really <laughs> the three shit. people that are not good at investigating stuff <laughs> are like, we'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> 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 you break my shit, I swear to God. I can make Especially no Especially since the shit that they need to find is currently... No, you left I it left in the it. room! Oh! oh! <laughs> right, well, back to Nova and Quill. <laughs> Did you just almost spare your tea? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love this episode. The tea! Um, oh my God. Right. More popcorn. Literally, spill, spill the tea. <laughs> spill the tea, Nova! Spill it. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some, while you guys are talking, I'm just gonna do some quick math yeah. in my head about like, okay. people getting into places cool. and how long conversations are. So what about these Titans? Quick math. Uh, <laughs> I heard the gods, the Titans. The ILS. Listen, the reason why we're having this conversation here and not with it in the room is because apparently it can hear. 
I didn't realise, I just found that out. Perfect. That's great. But listen, I, we can use it. <laughs> I thought about handing it over to the Dragonborn, but if I do, it's just going to stop talking, right? We have... It's... Quill, you must understand. It literally has Callus' intelligence and information, but it only talks to me because it believes that I'm going to... I'm going to cyber starving. Cyber -starving. I'm not! <laughs> I am not, though, Quill! Okay. Quill, would I literally be stood here with Tiangong right now if I was going to give Tiangong back to Starbane? Is that your connection? To Starbane? Yeah. Is that why he's communicating with you? Maybe. He has pieces of Tiangong, but I'm trying to get them back from him. I don't know if I can, though. Is the connection with Tiangong something we really want? Tiangong is an Eterna. An Eterna that has a direct connection with Starbane. Yes, he might be the only person but to stop Adar. But if we get those pieces back, we need allies, Quill. And what is more powerful than part of the Triumvirate? It just sounds like I don't know. Quill, I was never going to do it. All of this has been me trying to, trying to save Tiangong. And stop Hadar. You've got to admit Hadar is a problem. If Starbane can't fight it on his own, what chance do we have? I just don't know what our chances against Starbane is. When we've, we're already up against it. Couldn't be more up against it. You're saying he has legions of armies and entire sky cities under his command. This, this, this... I didn't say anything about sky cities. I was going to say. <laughs> clap, clap. <laughs> okay. Maybe. What do you know, Quill? <laughs> when I asked the question, what's your involvement, I used the eye. I... You have to understand why I can't, why I couldn't trust you then. Do you trust me now? Quill. It's a long pause. I gave my life to save you. I would have died without question if that's what it took. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we we. Meanwhile, flip what, yeah, literally, <laughs> no, I think like quite literally, like you ask that, like, do you trust me? And you say that, and we just Quill is just silent for a long time. You guys make your way through um, towards the officers' quarters. You're coming up from the bottom of the sh uh, no, the middle of the ship is where engineering is. So imagine with the ship, mm -hmm. you have um, captain's quarter on top deck, yep, main deck. Below the captain's quarters on what we call the first deck, which is the first row down, is the officers' quarters, cool. which is where Nova and Quills and that's quarters are. The middle of the middle deck, middle deck is the engineering. The middle deck. Middle deck. <laughs> Uh, it's the engineering department, and then at the front is currently where the extra some of the extra rooms are, which is where Quill and Nova are now. Okay. You guys have come in from here, gone into the engineering bit, mm -hmm. and then you're making your way back. So you're completely avoiding yeah. the area that they're in speaking. Um, you arrive at Nova's Nova's door. Uh, there are no locks on the airship. It's not like locked rooms. It's just kind of like expected of personal privacy. Um, What's that? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you just open the door, there's nobody in it. It's empty. Knock on the door first. Yeah, you knock. No, no response. Uh, <laughs> um, hello? No, no response. It could be at risk, you know? Uh, they, they say they're fine, but maybe they've been held hostage or something. <gasps> I'm just going to open the door. Yeah, you open the door. Nobody inside. It's empty. Mm. Maybe, maybe there's a clue. Maybe, maybe there's, there's a, maybe we why can find out they, where they are. Lucius, sure. mm -hmm. why did Quill want to search Nova's? I don't know. Uh, he noticed. Well, Nova was crying, 
And so that's we a were, pretty normal occurrence, to be honest. Well, she was really, like, really distraught about something. And you have seen her arm, right? She's, you know. I mean, yes. Mm. No, you, you. That's a good point. Mm. It's a good point. But Quill seemed very uh, adamant to stay behind and use me as a distraction, which I failed at. I thought he had it in, in hand. Um, but then Nova said she was going to change and that she'd meet us at, for this meeting. But Quill stayed behind because he wanted to get in the room. Right. Just as a point, Nova, you just put the ILS under the pillow, didn't you? You didn't put it in like a box or anything. You just put it under I the mean, pillow. I mean, you don't want to fucking metagame it, do you? So, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I'm asking for genuine. But he, I did tell him. Yeah, I know He's you did. He's stealthy. Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. yeah and, and yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, yeah, I think going in the room, None of you are super hot detectives. However, Ayla and Lucius are actually surprisingly more aware of their surroundings than you might initially think. 15. Yeah, 15 and 14. Street smarts. Lucius, you definitely noticed that um, the bed's kind of in a bit of a disarray. Um, Nova, the room, apart from that, the room is fairly well kept. Um, none of her books and stuff are around. I mean, you don't trash the room. No, but I'd say I'm probably not. I'm probably more like there's a you're a desk, messy person. Yeah, there's a desk that's covered with papers. There's papers all over. Yeah, there's the place, papers and books and stuff. Books. Or nice like, yeah, yeah. Or nice Nova tapes. doesn't. Nova doesn't write down any of these things about Starbane or anything. No. But she, no. Okay. So but, yeah, you notice that the bed's a bit dishevelled. There's kind of papers and stuff all over the desk. Um, she needs to tidy. Yeah. But oh, you, you haven't seen my room. Else. I Holy crap, don't go into my room. I really won't. You Th will This not be feels fixed. a little wrong at the moment, I'll yeah, be honest. We're, we're invading her privacy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna understand if there's any secrets in those papers, if she's been working some it's stuff out. Books. Not gonna it's not do no. the book thing, because that's her, it could be her diaries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I really want to read it though. Don't do okay, it. Okay, fine. Um, well, mm. why would they not be in here? Quill looked, wanted to look in this room, yeah. but now they're both not here. Has she got cupboards and stuff and drawers and... There's like foot lockers. Yeah. I think there's like, everybody has like one foot locker and that's it. Okay. And it's just mm. like this, this kind of like little metal trunk. It would just be stuff like, so you guys have seen me taking notes over the, you know, so making notes of the Zakira tablet. Yeah, you take notes of literally everything. Yeah, like, like things yeah. that you've probably picked literally, up that you don't that carry would be on like your person the and dust, stuff. Yeah. The Gust Haven, like mm -hmm. all the notes in Eloise's room, like you'll see, like, you'll see familiar things that mm -hmm. I've been scribbling. Oh. Yeah, on the desk and stuff, and then, yeah, you guys haven't opened up the Foot Locker yet. So. Maybe Quill confronted Nova about Maybe. it, and now they're... I don't know. I don't know what they... Why would they not be here oh, discussing yeah. it? Why would they not be in you this You open the room? Foot Locker? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you open it, there's, like, what, spare clothes or, like, bed clothes? Yeah, Maybe, like, books. some books. Yeah. Um, scrolls and quills. Can't just... What? Look through her possessions. I mean, you said search. You I didn't say, say don't search. search. There's some suspicion going on here. I don't know what's happening, so someone has to do it. I'm taking initiative. I'm just, about, I'm just saying. What, 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 what if they were the wolf pack? Maybe they're down below decks. Why? 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 I don't why? Know. I don't, I don't, they're not here. They're not. They're not. They're not meeting us. Okay. Well, I all that's in here is just books and boring, all boring these, things. Oh, just gonna. What if we get the wolf pack to smell them? To, to track them. That's a good idea. I mean, yeah. the ship's not that big. We could probably. I just mean, we, them. but we haven't found them. We're, we don't know where they are. We're we still haven't looking. really looked. We've looked in one place, Sentry. <laughs> you one are room. The three most useless <laughs> detectives. Okay. I really don't want to make. Games. I love the right. cinematic. I know. I don't. Like... I don't know how to get around it. I just like, need the cinematic. Can I? Here's, can here's I the roll? And can I roll some kind of check to see if Ayla would check the bed area? I think it doesn't even necessarily be to a check. Let me ask you. Rather than rather making this a dice thing. Right. I want you all to tell me if you if you suspected somebody of hiding something, mm -hmm. would you search their room for something? Like if you oh. thought that somebody was hiding something from you, Very like let's say like a, a partner, like you know, uh, you know, a boyfriend or girlfriend that was cheating on your character or whatever, would they be like they're up to something? I'm going to search their stuff. Mm. Because my, this is me speaking as a DM, not knowing the characters. I think I my initial thing is, Ayla probably would, because she doesn't really <laughs> she care would. about other people. But I don't so think Lucius would. would, and I don't think Sentry would. But Quill did say... Unless that. Sentry worries about it being Starbane stuff. But also, like, she did look after a cheeky princess for a while, yeah. and she might have been pretty good at hiding things. Yeah. Yeah. Been like, what are you up to? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you Stop it! Drop it in your mouth! 
mouth. <laughs> Would do you think Sentry? <laughs> do you think Sentry? Because you you you've uh, had little conversations with Nova about yeah. Starbane before. Is Sentry worried that Nova might be hiding something about Starbane? Mm, I don't, totally I, not getting. Well, like I don't think. But the thing, I don't think Sentry would. I don't think Sentry would think that though. I then that's then that's yeah. what you think. Then Taylor believe. would. Right. Yeah. In that case, I think the. I think I don't think. Whilst you might be good at finding things, or like you've you've experienced it, yeah. I think you know that Nova's not the princess, yeah. and I think that that's different. But I also, think Nova's not said anything about Starbane. No, no exactly. I think yeah, you and Sentry have had a conversation about. But a this. while ago. Yes, yes yeah, a while. Ago. That's why I was yeah. like. Do you think that she would still I just suspect know, she wouldn't suspect anything about yeah. Will. He said there was something, but he didn't say, like, Starbane. No, no. but I no. think that out of everybody, mm. the one person who'd be like, hiding something, you say. Excuse to go through people's things, you say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. And this isn't necessarily going to be you immediately checking the bed. No. You're going to make an investigation check, which okay. you're not very good at anyway, no. um, to search the room. Oh, God, I'm really shit. Exactly. The whole time, Lucy's like, oh, oh no, I wrote six. Don't six. do that. No. Yeah, so like Lucy says, oh, please. And you're kind of like, you. I think what Ayla does is she just goes around the room and is like, maybe looks behind the desk and like looks, picks up the foot locker, like checks under the bed. And you don't really see. And I think what, if this was like a movie, right? This is how this scene looks. It's like Ayla's going through. You're like, no, don't do that. And Sentry's like, oh no, we shouldn't really. And you go to the door. And then Ayla, just as you're like, okay, fine. And you pick up the pillow, just like you were gonna look under it. And you just toss it to the side. And we just see the edge of the ILS <laughs> poking out from underneath the pillow as you turn and the three of you leave the room. That's that's how that goes down. <laughs> well, I'm glad there was nothing in there. Yeah, yes. and then you shut yeah. the door, and we there just... There might have been. There might there was... have been a really secret book, but I just don't care about it. Yeah. As the door shuts, and you kind of say that moving down the corridor, there's just this lingering other shot of, like, we pan back into the room, and the ILS just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> so uh, good. Quillen, Quillen over. So you ask, like, do you... Yeah, like... I mean... Of I have to trust you, don't I? Really? I mean, what's my choice? I, I, I don't trust the person that crashed on the airship with me. I don't trust the person that saved my life a million times. I mean, how can I not trust you? But that's exactly the problem, isn't it? Like, if, 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 if I can't not trust you, how can you not trust us? Because if I tell the group, Sentry's not going to listen. She is the polar opposite of Starbane. She won't, she wouldn't let me l talk to her about any of this. Ayla, Ayla maybe, but she's very much in the same camp. Starbane beat the crap out of him. Lucius, Lucius was the only other person I thought about talking to. And you, I wanted to come to you, but I wasn't sure how you'd react to some of the things I'd say. You probably should have sooner, much sooner. This could have gone very differently, very differently. So what can I do to make you trust me? To, to make you trust that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get information from these sources, not, not do things for them. But how long are you going to use the information and receive dreams and get clouded by all these influences before eventually one of them seeps in. But that's why I wanted to reform Tiangong more than ever right now. Because I need, I need Tiangong's voice. Tiangong is older than all of this. <clears throat> but then we need Starbuck. So why do you think I've been talking to him? So just tell me about the Titans. Everything you know about them. ILS says that the gods are not gods. They are Titans. They are creations by Siaska. They are elements of her that she broke off and formed into what they are with the responsibilities that they have to, to care for Aroas and the people of Aroas. They're not immortal. And here's the thing. He also told me that if I wanted to find Callus, I needed to look for how Callus would try to remove the cradle. And I literally just, well, you heard, 
You were outside my door, weren't you? Yeah. If the Titans, if they were to, to reef, to, to, I don't know, dissolve and, and combine their energy, that could bring Siaska back, right? And Siaska is essentially the cradle. So whatever Callus is planning right now, he's planning to attack them. But... But when we... How, how far were you willing to go? How, how, how... I mean, you say you were hoping to tell me, tell Lucius, but... What was it? We, we find where he is, you saunter up to his door, say, Hey, it's your favourite agent, Nova Vija. <laughs> Do you assist him in taking over a civilization? I was never going to go that far. But how far to get the information you need? I mean, I've got, I've got this much information. I know what his plan is. We just, we need to find the holes. We need to warn Hesper. But what you're... information did you have before? Well. True. I've literally just told you more than you could have ever hoped to find out before he strikes again. I just think you need to be careful about the trap you are definitely walking into. There's, the, he, he can't be showing you these things just in the hopes that you'll join him. He must know that you're working against him. He must know. Well, he definitely said he doesn't trust me. Told me as much last night but he must be willing to use it against you. All this information, he, he, he is planning something, and I feel like you're walking straight into it. I want you to come in crying all night, Quill. Because I'm... you're on your own. I, and I, I was, I promise I was on the verge of, of coming to you or Lucius. I, I couldn't decide who. I, I don't know. Obviously, I can't make you believe that, but please, I was on the verge of coming to one of you. Okay. What's your ideal outcome now? Do I tell the rest of the team? I just, I just, I don't think Sentry will listen. And, and we, need to, we need to help Sentry anyway. We need to take her to the City of Glass. And then we tell her? This is dangerous Starbane tech you have here. Or had here. <laughs> um, but here's the thing, what if we can... I don't know, what if we can reprogram it? We can change their views. But don't I you need, see what you're saying? But I need time. I need time to research it, to tinker, to, to figure it out. But what if we turn the ILS against Callus, and then suddenly we have the most valuable information source ever, and I won't have to be deceptive. God damn it. <laughs> well. If we tell Sentry right now, she's going to get so upset she's going to black out again. Do we want that? Using Sentry against him. It's true. I'm just a disembodied voice. <laughs> <laughs> you, we do don't. Not, you do not need to answer my rhetorical question. No, we don't want that. We have to tell Lucius, at the very least. Okay. Ayla will smash things. Ayla's already just smashed my room. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't smash anything. Smash my pillow. Uh, the three... Idiot detectives. <laughs> hey! where, where do you go after Nova's room? Araya. You just go back up to Araya in the war room? Yes. Okay. And now it's... I'm more panicked now because yeah. I think that okay. they've been taken or something like that. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, no, I'm just going to wander and search other rooms. Okay. Because they, have... we can't find them, they're nowhere. We're they're, they're... The coffee is cold. <laughs> <laughs> I will send... We will, I will have some of the wolf packs, see if they've seen them, all right? Uh, we will find them. It will not, they're, they're somewhere. They're just having a conversation or something. Why are you so calm all the time? Because I have to be. Because if I panic, then they'll panic, and you'll panic more, and then everyone's panicking. So you would be panicking if you didn't have this role? Or would I? 
I don't oh. know. I don't know anything. No. They're gone. Assume no. They're on the ship. They must be. It's fine. They must be. Nobody has come on the ship. They have not Could left the ship. They're held hostage. They're yeah. saying they're what, fine. By who? <laughs> Stone giants came out the floor. Yeah, now yeah. You are, but we are on a ship above the floor. We don't know what they're capable of. They could Lucius. be ship giants. You are what we call uh, an idiot. Oh. You are making things. Our uh, you are making. I'm fully a, fertile. Thank but you. I, feel, I, fully, I fully understand where he's coming from, though. Of course, that's why we're going to send some people to find him. But panicking will not help. Let's send people, and we will find them. All right. Let's find the crew. I'm gonna go get the crew, and we'll send them to find them. Okay. okay. Ayla, go and search the ship. Yep, sure. <laughs> you two, casually. sit down. Calm down. Make some, make some coffee, Sentry. I've already like... had too much. <laughs> <laughs> Just coffee stains on her face. Go and ask Harry for a warm plate or something. So, we're going to say that while you guys have been doing this kind of somewhat in tandem. So there is a point where, and I'm going to roll to see if it's Ayla or a Wolfpack member that finds you guys. One to three. Can I say one last thing to Quill before? Yeah, of course, yeah. Which is going to be the last, the last thing, thing you say before Ayla comes in, basically. Hey. Quill. Moment runer. Ayla. What can I do to really make you trust me? Just be who you were. You have to... In that moment, I just saw everything that's happened so far. I saw the Sparrow Blade when the agents came out and identified Tian Gong. I well, and the they were there for as well. Vala. But it was everything that's happened in my head. In that moment, everything was tying back to you. My priority is Tian Gong. You know that. You've always known that. And my priority is the six of us. Five of us. Five of us. Not Araya, five of us. Oh, I can be there. Ah, six of us. And that's the point where Ayla sees you in the little room. Nerds! Oh, serious looking nerds. Uh, no, just nerds. <laughs> You're very late for this meeting, and it's kind of annoying. I did tell you to start without us. We can't start without you! We need you! You two are the brains! The brains! See, nerds, hence nerds. Guys, I found the... <laughs> the you, messenger ring. I was going to say, you turn and shout magic ring that can communicate yeah. telepathically. God! <laughs> and then I'll go, oh wait. Guys, find them. Oh, where are they? <laughs> are they off the that? ship? No, they're in like the library. Is it library, right? Yeah. Library. Mm, vague. I mean, honestly, I don't know why that wasn't our first stop. Are they tied up? They... No, nerds. They're giant nerds. We're fine on the messenger ring. Wait, is he panicking? He's panicking. I told them to it's Lucius. Me. Yeah, it's Lucius. Sentry's had like 12 cups of coffee. She's like just vibrating at this point. You should probably... Maybe not this coffee mm. in Sentry. Okay. okay. I'll take it. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> the coffee was probably a bad show for me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Me, Tim. And then we need to go and see a dragon about an airship and a war and some stuff. Sure. Okay, I'm going to mm -hmm. assume you're going to follow me now. I'm going to follow you. Just in a second. Oh, my God. One second. Two seconds. Se maybe, well, maybe five seconds. I'm already seconds. gone. I'm already gone. Okay, so you, you actually gone. leave them alone. Okay. Ayla doesn't know what's okay, going yeah, on, yeah. so she's yeah. just like, eh. Yeah, you're right. You head back. You make your way back. I need a lot more time to digest this information over. I won't tell them now. But you should at some point. And I will. But we can't tell Sentry this now. It will it will hurt her. And she's on borrowed time as it is. <laughs> she's literally <laughs> vibrating <laughs> on a caffeine high. Coffee probably doesn't help. It's fine. rattling. <laughs> <laughs> Quill. Twig snaps. Right. <laughs> 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 Quill. It might be a good time to see if you can contact Two, Hesper. Place. Now's probably not the best time to try and contact Hesper. I don't know the questions I'll ask him. Starbane is literally going to kill them to bring the cradle down. Yeah. If that's how the cradle needs to fall, 
they are all at risk. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Yep. Okay. You're God, bra. <laughs> Is he? I thought you fought, you're his champion. A champion of what? Ooh. A champion of a god. Not a titan. Well, you should at least tell him. Confront him, you mean? It sounds like that's what it would be. But you're... But you still believe in him, right? I believe in what he stands for. That much has always been true. But they're at risk, Quill. And we'll do what we can. So you're gonna... You're gonna tell him, right? We'll do what we can. Cool. You guys make your way back? Yep. No, but seriously, Quill needs to get up here. Sentry's trying to get another cup of coffee and I can't stop her. She need, I need Quill's... We're here! <laughs> yeah. We're so, here. So, as you are messaging in that, two in. <laughs> quite solemn, very serious looking people, Quill and Nova, enter the room. Um, and there is, the, there, is a, there is a heavy shroud of seriousness. You know, when somebody walks in the room, when you know that something deep and serious has just gone down and there is just this atmosphere... Um, as they enter. Where were you? Uh, bad troubles with the uh, engine. We saw you were taken prisoner. You're in the library, you nerd. Oh, uh, Nova had a book um, that how to uh, engines for dummies. I have, been, in, I have looked at all of your insights. This checks out. <laughs> <laughs> I know your passive insights, and I think most of you are like, yeah. Yep. Sounds good. It was a new one from A Plumbers. It's a good. It's a corker. How many of those books do you have now? <laughs> yeah. like, if you have any more Too A Plumbers many. books, we're not actually going to be able to take off because the ship's going to be full of books. It's a genuine concern that I have, and I, I don't want to fall out of the sky again because of A Plumbers. Let Araya know, just in case the weight is a problem with the books. Yes. But please tell us next time. Yes, yes. we were worried. I, I did so say, I, I did message and say, start the meeting without us. Yes, we're going to be. can't have it without you. Like I, I said, said, we were fixing brains. something in the engine room. Yes, we will brains. tell you I if did, something goes wrong, Lucius. I did tell you. Right. <laughs> I, I did message Good. you all. Would you like a coffee? You've been really busy. <laughs> it's like all out of the cup by the time it reaches okay. you. <laughs> Thank you. She's had a lot of coffee. She had to drink it all because you weren't here. I can't guarantee how warm it will be. It's fine. Thank you, Sentry. Okay. She's just sitting, making little thing in there. <laughs> Clanking noises. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this meeting even about? How many tarts have you eaten? Ooh. The dragon. We need to speak with the dragons and get off this so that we can go to Sentry's uh, place to fix her. Yeah. Okay. We need to do it as soon as possible, which is why everything is urgent and we need to do it now. Be I'd appreciate it if there's something wrong with the engines and we can't actually move. That makes sense. Just we, let us know. We had to have a whole meeting to... Okay. Well, well, we well, need to discuss it? what the, the approach is with the dragon thing. Yes. Diplomacy. Right Words yeah. are important. How we say things to people. I and don't want to fuck things up, so I'm not going to talk. Probably. Yes. Yeah, we, we need to... Point number one, Ayla says nothing in the presence of the dragon. <laughs> a, good, a good idea. Very good, yes. I think everyone's in agreement with that. Excellent. We also need you to ensure me. that we take on board their current problems. Yes. The fact that they were just attacked and we might be relatively trivial in the grand scheme of things. Well, exactly. Maybe they were just attacked. Maybe our meeting with this dragon is delayed. Maybe, but we could also say, like Ayla says, we did help. Yes, and we, we did it good. The support of that elite unit that came and gave us credit for that. Yeah. So maybe we can use that. Yeah. Um, yeah. As long as we get out of here as soon as we need to. Any suggestions, Quill? We waited for the brains. Um. Uh. I mean. We, we, we assisted in the fight, we can use that. If, the, if we can't speak with this dragon, it was meant to be two days, we're trying to get in there early as it is. Maybe we just use the leverage as just a, we need to go now. 
we've, we've done our duty. We did what we could in the defense of this city. Give us at least that to, 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 to let the ship go. Quill. What? What's wrong? What's wrong with the engine? No, the engine is safe. The engine is fine. The ship will fly. Did you find what you were looking for? It's yeah. very pouty. It was a minor issue with the core. I've recalibrated it and it's fine now. Have you guys had a falling out? Are you okay? I don't know, Quill. Are we okay? <laughs> oh, shit! They're not okay. No, they're not okay! <laughs> they're not okay! <laughs> it's just such the perfect shitty teenager, like, I don't know, Quill. <laughs> oh, I don't okay. know, Mom. Are we? <laughs> we're fine. We're we're fine. Do, 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 we need, do we need to go and go and cheer ourselves up? Go into town? Maybe you know. Yesterday was a hard day. Do you, cake. Cake. We didn't no, get. No, last we, time we, we went didn't for cake. We got attacked by a lot of things. I don't want to go for cake again. Cake is cursed. Cursed the cake. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Rihanna just Sorry. lost it. I think like this this secret conversation just finally took its toll on Rihanna. She's gone. That's the laugh that Rihanna does when she's truly gone. <gasps> oh, cursed cake. <laughs> Why did you fall out? What happened? Cake we didn't. Did you say something bad Last about cake. Nova? Last cake. <laughs> <laughs> It was um, the best of cake. It was the blast of cake! <laughs> <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, God. You need to air this out now. We don't. <sighs> There's nothing to air We're out. We're a team. We're a team. Right? That's what I was saying earlier. If things need airing out, can we do that after we speak to the dragon so we can leave, please? Oh, as God. long as it doesn't affect how we approach it. That's the true. Trip. Are you going to be a grump? In front of a giant dragon that could kill us with. I am the morale like, officer, by the way. She's so morale your well-being is is my responsibility. So. Look, it's fine. I'm, I'm in a good mood. Me. I'm here if you need me. I can me. smile. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> really awkward <laughs> smile. How do you tell the yeah birds smile like with the beak? Well, you can. Yeah, he's got a very expressive <laughs> face. Little whistle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's fantasy bird. I got a happy whistle. Um, we need you on your top game to convince these dragons to let us go in the yeah, most Quill. turbulent Yeah, You're talking, times. apparently. <laughs> or we need your assistance to do so. Truly, Sentry would be the best person to, to, to lead the conversation. They seem Definitely. to respect guardians here. True. Yeah. And a guardian feel, that protected the city. Do you feel you have everything you need to convince these dragons? Just make sure that they give them lots of compliments, because they like that. Tell them how good they are, and it will be very... Very nice and very much respected if they could let us go nice and early. Early punching out. You know. What if, <laughs> what if, what if we lead more bad people to them and us leaving is, you know, like a, oh, a weakness true. in their defence? The I think they can defend themselves. If they did seem very good. I like side eye. That, 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 is, a that is a prime uh, Tom move there, by the way, I want to say, of like, we're getting somewhere, we're making a plan, but what do you if <laughs> this bad thing happens? Yeah. I totally side eye Nova when, with the what if we're leading bad guys as well. <laughs> well, there's only one thing for it, right? We need to get this done. Can we just go? Yeah, we've got yes. this far. Please. Let's just keep trying, you know? Okay, onwards to the dragon. All right. Okay. I let Orion know that we're leaving. It's fine. You don't need to. So all of that stuff is covered. And um, yep, you make your way down to Vivek City. Uh, you are not hassled. There are no more attacks. You are met by military officers who are expecting you and lead you into the bowels of the Vivex, the ship itself, where Amadrasos, custodian Amadrasos, in his human form, um, is waiting for you. Ah, I'm glad that you have arrived. Uh, some good news. Uh, the Commander General has awoken earlier than expected. The attack oh. yesterday uh, helped rouse him from his slumber. Um, we that... are still dealing with a few matters, but uh, he would be... We will have you speak with him as urgently as possible. Okay. Uh, he is still... He has not had time to become... Grumpy. Oh. <laughs> well, yes. Sooner the better, then. Don't want grumpy. As some, uh, just some advice before you speak with him, do address the Commander General 
as respectfully as you can. I advise okay. that you do nothing to insult him. Mm -hmm. uh, you why are you refer looking to at me him. when you say that? You know exactly why I'm referring, yeah. I'm looking at you. Why is that? <laughs> refer to him as Commander General. Uh, Commander General Nathariel Alamaz. Alamaz. Nathariel Alamaz. Nathariel Alamaz. Nathariel Alamaz. How many times he said that? How is that? <laughs> at Atharial. Nathariel uh, Amalaz. Amalaz. <laughs> Amalaz. Commander General should suffice, however, if you truly wish to be respectful of his formal name. Um, are you ready? Are you prepared? He will have some questions for you. Spells will be cast upon you to ensure that truth telling is, is uh, uh, that you are telling the truth. Fucking A. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Um, what sort of questions is he going to be asking us? Uh, related to what you have already told us about We're Callus. going to inform him about Callus and yes. everything that we know about Callus. Okay, yes, okay. yes, okay. yes, okay, yes. Very good. Uh, you okay. are led down into the, what you must assume must be the cargo. The <laughs> nope. I think I need to go, nope. I need to nope. leave. Nope, nope, no, they're not letting you leave now. use thunder step. <laughs> no, do you want to? No? no? Okay. Uh, you are led deep down into the bowels of the ship and you must assume you're in, you are led to a pair of enormous crystal doors huge in size, sort of 25, 30 feet tall maybe. Ooh. Must be in the very deepest part of the ship, um, a huge cargo hold perhaps. Uh, and you can see there are rows and rows of elite dragonborn troops, all in gleaming uh, metal and crystal armor, wielding halberds and swords that have illuminated glowing edges to them of magic, um, elite, highly trained, very well equipped soldiers. They salute to Amadrasos as uh, he passes through and you are led through and the doors are opened um, by what you can see are two in incredibly strong looking dragonborns. Their muscles, they look twice as tall and perhaps twice as wide as others of their kind and they're pulling these big heavy chains that, chains that open the doors inwards. When you are led inside, what you see is an opulent chamber. Um, there are silks, piles of gold. Uh, you can see weapons strewn amongst all the, the huge piles of gold and gemstones. And sleeping, or kind of resting on the, the gold and on these cushions, and just luxury all around him, is a huge silver dragon. Its scales gleam in the soft light of the crystals that are hum with magic in the chamber. And you can see that in one hand, in one clawed hand, it appears to be holding a tiny scroll and is reading it. Um, and in the other, it holds an enormous iron cauldron. Something that probably was used, would be used to heat huge, vast quantities of substance. Um, and a, the strong smell of coffee just wafts through the room. <laughs> and you can see it like tips its head back and just drains the cauldron in uh, to its mouth, places it on the ground, and about seven dragonborn attendants come and begin filling it with, you know, urns of, of this stuff. I'm um, all dream. steaming hot. <laughs> uh, Amadrasos leads you to it, and he bows very deeply. Um, and there is a. He looks at you as he yeah, does it. Do yeah, thing. do the same. Yep. One arm. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Commander General, I have brought to you the uh, travelers who I spoke to you of this morning. Uh, as always, I will perform the right to ensure that they speak only the truth in your presence. Uh, you may question them and then decide what is to become of them. And he kind of steps back. Um, he nods and waves his hands over the group of you. Uh, you can choose to fail this charisma save, or you can try and resist it. But as Quill knows, anybody who does resist it, Amadrasos will know. Yeah, so I don't. Nope. I'm good. All voluntarily accept. You cannot tell lies. You can not answer questions. You can skirt around the truth. Mm -hmm. You just cannot tell any outright deceptions. Uh, the dragon kind of peers at you, one kind of sleepy, lidded eye, half-lidded. It pulls its jaws apart and a, an echoing thunderous yawn erupts around as its long slender neck kind of twists until it looks at you all. So, you are the ones who invaded our airspace without permission. 
but I hear you also helped defend the city. Hmm. You have my gratitude for your assistance, but I have been told some troubling matters by Amandrasos. <sighs> I trust that you will be most forthcoming with my questions. Uh, wonderful to meet you, uh, Commander General Nathaniel Alan Malaz. Ah. A guardian. And his snake snakes down, and he now looks directly at you, and his head is enormous. It kind of fills your vision. It has been a long time since I have seen your kind. I recognise your livery. Oh, you do? A guardian of Solvin. That is correct, it's your, wonderful. Your kind fought very bravely, and your kingdom was a great defender of Erois. And he kind of nods his head. Oh, as was your kind as well. It's an honour to be alongside Dragonborn once again. Mm, thank you for your kind words. Uh, to remind, seeing you reminds me of my younger days fighting in the war. Yeah. Mm, kind of snakes his head back. My first question is quite simple. You have told Amadrasos that you spoke with the Star Emperor Callus. Are you certain it was him, not an illusion or trick upon your minds? I'd fallen at the time, so I can't answer, but... Very well, Guardian. The rest of you, then. Uh, I am a believer in Hesper, the god of magic, and mm. a detection, while I didn't, I wasn't able to detect it off him at the time. You believe it was no, there was no magic to trick you? you... I don't believe so. Mm. Mm. The rest of you, you agree with your bird's statement? Yes, he knows far more than me, Commander General. Far more. Hmm. Very well, I will not bother addressing you with questions, Simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> Guardian, <laughs> bird. <laughs> Did Callus give you any indication of his plans when you spoke with him? I don't... I don't I, you were not I, present, I, you present, say. No. Very well. Um... Oh, damn it, I, I can't really remember did if he... He didn't, did he? Mm. Let me just scroll back to episode he said, 16. Um, I mean, no, he said he had plans, but that nothing more. Mm. He didn't trust us. There is a moment pause where he's like looking at Quillanova, but he doesn't say anything because one of you is speaking on... He assumes that you're all kind of speaking on each other's behalf as you speak. Have you had any contact with Callus or this Vala since the incident? Uh. We contacted Vala. Did we? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Talking shit. <laughs> Commander General, I do believe we saw an illusion of him aboard a space... Vessel of some kind. Aegis. Ages five. Ages five, yes. Mm. But we believe that was just a some sort of program that uh, runs... You are referring to the ILS, a yes. system that my kind had a hand in creating. I believe that was the last time a form of Starbane contacted us. Mm. Or, talk, or spoke to us. Mm. Commander General. Very well. You like the I, And again, it's like... If this was a movie, as he's asking these questions, we'd occasionally see like the close-up of Nova as like the particular question, but then he just yeah. passes on. This portal gateway that you that Callus arrived from. How large was it, would you say? Big enough for multiple creatures? One? Hundreds? How big was it? <laughs> Actually, I yeah. would say that you guys estimate that, like, certainly no larger than sort of like five at a time. Like, it wasn't massive. It wasn't like a huge army portal. It was large, but not that large. Um. Maybe, maybe like 
just a little bit bigger than this. Mm. Like, and I'll just <laughs> I'll use my arms to stretch out and try so and one, show him. One giant claw kind of comes and like holds the position that you're gesturing. Uh, uh, Larger. Uh, 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 about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, very well. Amadrasos, it is only a small troop based portal. We do not need to encounter a uh, plan for anything larger. Very good, Commander General. Uh, Commander General, if I may, we uh, actually managed to close mm. the portal. Which one? The, the one underwater, the Hagen. The one with Aegis Five. I will come to that. I refer to the one under the Abbey that you first encountered, Callus. Oh. Yes. My apologies, Commander General. Speaking of Aegis Five, do you have any idea of what his plans for the station were? What he had. Do you, did you see any evidence of what he may have been attempting there? There were some pods uh, in the ship that contained... Uh, did they have any things in them at the time? No. I found some battle plans that I handed over to Amadrasos, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, the pods did, they had some Sahagan yeah. that were growing yeah. it looked like in early like different oh, stages yeah. of growth. They had uh, Sahagan in there. I don't know what they were planning with them or what the pods were even used for. But mm. yeah. life pods, they are used to accelerate clones to growth, but mm. Callus's technology for this is limited. He tried to replicate something that Siaska had shown him long ago, but my understanding was that technology was still... My ancestors spoke of it. It was not finished before we came to Aurorus. Interesting. Mm, you assume that this there was nothing else? It is strange. Aegis V is a shielding platform, one that the dragons helped build back on Draconis. It is really nothing more than a, an operating base. I am curious and troubled what his plans were. Mm. We, uh, we encountered an agent of Starbane on the ship. An Eladrin. That's the one, yeah. Yes. We are, the name again, if you please. Ah, uh, let me have a look. Shansara. 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 Yeah. Amadrasos, note it. Have our agents begin searching. But apart from her, we didn't find any other life forms. It was abandoned. Mm. Mm, very interesting. What are your plans, Starbin? My last questions, then. Vala, this girl. You told Amadrasos that Kalos revealed that it is his daughter, a product of Siaska's magic and Kalos's blood. Do you think, and his neck kind of glows down, this girl could pose a threat to Aroes? Did she display unusual abilities that you are aware of? Yes, she was very powerful. Uh, she managed to wipe out a whole camp of uh, wild elves, I believe. Mm. And that was early on when we came across her on the airship that was downed and it's when we first met. Mm. She didn't understand her power. No. And she was very naive. She wasn't very So there is a risk confident. that perhaps her father could twist her intentions or bring her to her, his way of thinking? Absolutely, I think anyone is. He is manipulative and clever. You are right to assume so, High Elf. <sighs> it concerns me. Callus is not a god, a mortal man who has mastered magic and technology and extended his life beyond what is even natural of dragons. But if this Vala truly possesses divine spark, she would be far more powerful and greater than he. She could pose a great threat to the universe. My last question. This follower of Hadar that you encountered, do you believe that she was working alone? I don't believe she had any ties to Starbane from what we could see from her. I imagine she would be an enemy, but we are at least aware of Hadar and his actions. 
If she was working with others, perhaps a cult, or did you notice any other human or other mortal races working alongside her? Wasn't anyone, was there? No, there wasn't. It was all spirits. It was all undead. She was in a, a ruin and uh, alone. Mm. But still very powerful alone. Very well. I do not have time to question you about every detail, but your answers are sufficient for me for the time being. At least I do not believe that you are harboring any allegiance to Callus. However, if you are to leave my lands, I... Uh, there are still much that I would wish to know, and your encounter with Callus may draw more of his followers to you. I will give you permission to leave Corsadi's airspace and a permit to travel through them in the future. But it comes on a condition. You will take an agent of mine with you. That's very fair. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can I ask why? Because you are not Draconis Militarum. You are but little things, easily swayed by the words of powerful men and women and magic. For all I know, you have managed to avoid Amadrasos' spell. But I am willing to let you go. As you know, my city has come under attack and we must plan our defense against Callus now that he has breached the cradle. You travel with a guardian, which gives me great comfort. Thank you. I know that you would not stand to work alongside him. Never. But still, I would send someone to watch over you, for your benefit and mine. And he lifts up a claw, and he brings uh, another one of his claws up to his finger and cuts it, and a silver drop of blood, quite large, falls. And as it begins falling, you see it begins to shift and transform and warp into a tiny cat-sized silver dragon, a pseudo-dragon. Cool. This is this, one of my own. Go with them, watch them, report to me what they see, and protect them, my little friend. And the little pseudo-dragon kind of... Now, out of all of you, who probably has the highest uh, charisma? Um, <laughs> no, nope. I think it's Nova. 18. Yeah. Oh, it's Nova. 16. 16. Yeah. 16, 16 oh, 18. she's got a spine. Well, but here's the thing. Do you not want this thing to come you? Because it's basically, it, it looks around and it's looking for who looks like the most friendly. How does Nova react? I'm a fucking adorable bird. Yeah, but <laughs> but my charisma Katie is trash. Yeah, I probably dragon, don't want to spy near me. So you're kind of like cold, you cold shoulder it basically. I'm just not. I'm just not even looking. Like, okay, just, so you try and avoid it. I spent the look. whole meeting just, just looking silent. at the floor. Okay. Um, yeah, and the thing is with dragons is they're so fucking arrogant. He's just like, yes, you are bowing in my presence. Very mm. good. Um, yeah. I think that's Nova's, Nova's. The whole meeting has just been just like, quietly looking at the floor, probably just not even looking anywhere, not even not even realizing there's a okay. tiny dragon here. Now. Right. In that case, then the little pseudo dragon looks between Lucius and Sentry and sort of begins darting in amongst your legs. This will basically accompany either of you two, depending on who Aww. you want this to go with. He is a pseudo dragon. Um, he's not familiar, but he will obey your commands. He's like a little pet, basically. Um, I'll give you the stats for him, man. Yeah, he kind of like... That's very kind of you, Commander General. Yeah, it's well... not kindness, Guardian, but merely a matter of keeping an eye on valuable assets. Well, we'll treat him as a valuable asset as well. Good, good. He's so cute. <laughs> he's very cute. <laughs> Indeed. Amadrasos, make sure that their ship is refueled. Provide them aid and let them be on their way. Provide a writ of passage. And if you ever require one matter, you, uh, do you have immediate business away from Corsadi? 
Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, we do. Uh, it is the Guardian. Mm, very well. That is a reasonable distraction. Thank you. If you have any interest, after you have helped your Guardian friend, we could use your assistance in tracking down those that attacked the Vivex. I must recall, my most our soldiers must be dedicated to protecting the city, and le our legions are still weeks away. I cannot spare any troops to track down where these forces came from and how they attacked us so suddenly. Once you have repaired your guardian, if you were to find this out and bring me this information, a reward from my treasure hoard I could provide. Very gracious of you, Commander General. Mm, yes, indeed. Uh, you may leave. And he just gestures with a claw. More coffee. <laughs> uh, you see the dragon say so he picks up the giant cauldron. He's not a morning person either. <sighs> Bring me the latest reports. Giant newspaper. Amadras Amadrasos is like, right, leave now. Like, come on, like, don't right. linger. Okay, okay. And just ushers you out, basically. Deep bow. Yeah. Um, and unless you have anything more, we're just going to speed some things up. You are given a writ, permission mm -hmm. to leave. The ship is actually refueled. Um, Ethereum fuel is provided, so you nice. don't need to worry about your travel speed. Um, and you are set on your way. And I'm assuming that you are making your way towards Kamina, the city of glass. Yes. Yeah. And that's where we end. Unless... That's where we end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's where oh. we end. That is where we end. Oh. We will continue this story in January 2020. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm and read uh, out a few more hopefully, time for some thinking. hopefully you'll enjoy the Jingle Jam content as well. Yes, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be one of those mad, loads of crazy stuff happening. Oh, Good time. Man. No serious, deep oh. conversations about loyalty and what the fuck is going on. Oh, You've got God. a long time to wait. Yep. <laughs> one week what do you is mean? bad enough. It's all done. And what I... do you mean? It's all fine yeah. now, right? We're friends. Everything's friends. good. Right. Oh. Let's rattle through these because we've got to wrap it up. Uh, yeah. The Neb, strength to the Empire. Strength in Navarre, taking time out from crafting an Empire E1 to watch High Rollers. Okay, strength to the Empire being LARP Empire. Uh, the intro was amazing this week. Can we have uh, an intro in Smeek voice for the Jingle Jam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Guild at Ravenmore, thank you very much. Aloha Rollers, haven't been able to donate in a few weeks, but I'm glad I could catch the last Canon Rose of the year. Also, Mark, on behalf of the Hawaiian Islands, I demand more Orc representation. Uh, I mean, yeah. hopefully, yeah. Can't wait for Jingle Jam antics. Have fun, y'all. I think that that could potentially definitely happen. Mm. T Rich, best episode ever. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. It was a great one. Mm. Really Ojo Mays, hey guys, I absolutely love the streams. I discovered High Rollers some months ago and now I have to watch through every Aurora stream. I binge DD lore on a weekly basis and have found a group to play DD with myself. Thank Aww. you for this one. I'm glad. Awesome. New Alex, thank you very much. Another quick donation because of this art, great RP, RP episode. Loving Mark's One Ring reference in the background too. Uh, perhaps <laughs> this episode should be called The Council of ILS. We will miss this in December. See you again. What if we use the ring? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just like everything you were saying. I was just like, we have been given a gift. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Varys, thank you very much for the half hundo. Um, I am on the edge of my seat during all the RP. This is getting better every episode. Please, more of this. Well, yeah. we will thank see. Thank you very much. Lightning Wing Dragon. Quill is far, far too trusting. This is the second time that he's had a chance to use a truth spell. And what does he do? Not use it. He used the eye. Mm -hmm. He used the, the eye. eye. Yeah. The eye was pretty, yeah. Uh, yeah. Was pretty you powerful. actually had Callus himself saying, I don't trust her. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Would, I would say the eye is probably more powerful than that. Hi, yeah, yeah. uh, 300 more bits. Okay, new episode title idea warm coffee and cursed cake. <laughs> Blurst cake. <laughs> Blurst cake. <laughs> Otard, thank you very much. I've always known about DD, but never played or watched a show before Aros episode one. But after I did, I was so hooked and have since DM'd my own game. Now is the first Ooh. time I managed to catch you guys live, so I wanted to give back and say thanks. Thank you very, thank much. You very much. Nightjar, thank you very much, sweet Nightjar. I've been struggling to find the right message to convey what I was feeling throughout this session. I think, ah, <laughs> might have to suffice. Love you guys, seriously, this is just the best fucking thing ever. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bandai Nenzai, thank you very much, man. Oh man, I can't, ha I can't handle it. Wait until next year for more of this. All of you are on point with the RP this session. The Nova Quill confrontation was definitely the most tense and emotionally invested I've felt for the whole campaign. Yeah, man. Honestly, well, well done. done. I just yeah. want to say, Tom, like, I'm very I, I, sorry. I want to oh, hug you because I feel that like that was I've, fucking awesome. I feel like I've genuinely had an argument Whoa. with you. Oh. <laughs> like, but honestly, that was fucking now die. awesome, man. Now die. Yeah. Oh. Like, it was a real, it was, that was an really absolute good. pleasure. Guys, uh, uh, absolutely nailed it. <laughs> Lightning Wing Dragon, thank you very much uh, for the uh, $3 RP dump. Um, and the Neb, I now need to know how Ghost Meek and Sweeto Dragon's first Meek goes down. Like, Smeek's gone. Like, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. 
couldn't be bothered. Go right, on, the last thing, the last thing. He's had, had that up the whole, the whole episode. When we were having our argument, I'm just looking sideways and this fucking thing was here. Well, I think you're gonna like this last thing I'm about to say. Whatever XP you have to level up, you gain that amount. Oh, oh shit! Are you sure? That was a fucking it's a good episode. That was a fucking good episode. That was a fucking good episode. And it means that we start Kamina with you at a level brand new eight. level. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Nice. Holy crap, um, that's it's, awesome. It's one of, thank that's, you, that's gracious. That's me. my Christmas present. <laughs> oh, no. But no, it was, it. that was a seriously good episode. You guys have done really well with Not Meta Gaming, and you have made things like the the eye has given you so much information about what is going on bigger in the world. Personally, I think, I think my that, uh, coffee discussion was... Yeah, absolutely. It was on yeah, point. You got a level up. <laughs> <laughs> All I did in this episode was be a little shit, and uh, I got yeah. a level Oh, there we go. So the Yogscast yes. is going to be raiding Briny channel. Do it for high rollers. Yeah. As well, if you can. Yeah. Say hi, raid, can. raid those channels, send them to Briny, raise some money. Say I don't hello. can. Is it 2020 yet? No, but it will be after Jingle Jam. Goodbye! Thank you! Bye. Enjoy the stream! Goodbye! Bye 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 bye!